All right, how's it going? And welcome back to a brand new Tears of the Kingdom challenge run at last. Uh, this is the Zor only run because we finally get to pair up with Sidon once again, and it'll basically just be two best friends taking on the upheaval and its challenges. So um, it'll be nice because the Zor weapons are amongst some of the more powerful in the game. So we'll be able to do this quite efficiently. So the rules of the run will be simple as we're just going to get started here. Um, It'll be only Zor armors and only Zor weapons, like usual. But taking on the entirety of the Wellspring Island and the temple, because, yeah, it's kind of the big focal point of the region. Um, and of course, since we're doing this with Sidon, we're going to be powering him up fully to the max. Uh, going to be getting all the armor for ourselves, all of the, uh, well, champion arms, which is just the light skill tridents, the glider and everything. And then just defeating Ganon, so... A lot of loose miscellaneous objectives, clearing the region, uh, getting four sages bulls for Sidon. All these rules are in the description, by the way. So um, if you want to read that, go ahead. Um, if you are on mobile, make sure to go to the about tab and then my objective panel. Because, yeah, when I say description, I mean objective panel. It's just the only way to do a description on Twitch is the panels. Uh, so it's there, all five of the rules. Um, so yeah, it'll be really fun because we can get really powerful with these weapons. It's basically like the same power level as the uh, Gerudo weapons, but they'll last longer. Because as long as we have the wetness effect, which we easily will with Sidon, uh, it'll be like the perfect pairing to make us OP. So I'm very excited. And sorry, we had a bunch of issues starting the stream, but welcome everyone. Thank you so much, Xantox, for the 10 gifted subs. I really appreciate that. Oh my god. Um, well, very nice of you, because uh, it'll be nice for people to have them for this weekend. Um, there's going to be a lot of streams here, at least today, tomorrow, uh, rollover days. Depending on how much time we have left, either we'll do Monday or the following weekend. I don't know. But at least this weekend. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, we had some issues starting the stream, and uh, someone else subbed to me. I think one or two other people, and I can't pull that information up. But thank you to who did. It just, yeah, the stream crashed like twice because it just it wasn't stable. But um, please let me know who that was. I'm sorry. I, it literally has no history of it. Um, well, welcome, everyone. Hopefully you're having a fantastic uh, Saturday. Um, sorry for the rough start, but uh, I'm happy we're here. Um, everything running good. It looks like it. Awesome. Um, Seems to be running fine. Hello, my videos. Hope I <laughs> smash the Zora run. Have I ever considered to do a pacifist run? We can only use weapons and gear from chest and the over. So basically, just not uh, not stuff from enemies directly. That could be interesting. Also, we're not dying here. I might die here. I might have really messed this up. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I just started going directly for the castle. I'm I'm a moron. <laughs> We just did the Moron run. The Moron Goron run. We need to do smart strats here. Um, <laughs> Moonlight, 14 month sub, thank you. Uh, sorry, basically, because um, a lot happened at once. Yeah, we're just going to be starting to run. I have, I have the challenge run save, which is the same save we've been using since our first tiers run. It just skips the Great Sky Island, so we have uh, the loot from there, just so we don't have to play it every single time, because it is quite long and a lot longer than the Great Plateau. So, mm. it's just stuff you would normally get there. We didn't use any sort of weapons before, so the save is good for any of our theme runs. So we use it for the Gruder run, the Ego run, and now this one. Um, just a couple little starting stuff, like stuff you would normally get after the Sky Island. We didn't kill any of the enemies with like weapons, so it would meet the requirements of these runs because you can't get out any of the regional weapons up there. Um, so yeah, very normal stuff, basically. But basically how we start all these is, uh, yeah, just making a sprint for lookout landing, getting the paraglider, and then getting the camera rune. So that's kind of our warm up as we just talk about the run and kind of just we'll get warmed up. So <laughs> basically that's it. Mm. Yes. A lot of use zoning devices, we are. Um, basically the restriction is just for weapons and armor. Um, because zoning devices are just so important for the puzzle solving and the experimentation, so it wouldn't make sense to exclude them. That's my take on that. 
Thank you, Mike C. Duke, for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Um, sorry, I'm like scrolling around. Um, <laughs> I realized that one of our starter streams is like 10 times more messages than what I can read right away. Um, Xantox, was that another 10 gifted subs? Thank you. Oh my god. It's like <laughs> the entire chat is going to be a subscriber here. <laughs> oh my god. Um, well, thank you. And thank you, uh, is that Nivy9 uh, for the 100 bits? First time watching my stream live. You're awesome. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great time. Uh, <laughs> see, this is why we start the run a bit before the actual stuff starts because, yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a lot. Hey, I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now, I've been really excited to do this. We haven't done a, t a tier theme run since, like, I think we recorded the Ego run in, like, September. Uploaded in October. It was around that time frame, so... Yeah, I'm happy to be doing another one. This is going to be our third main theme run for tears. But it's going to start the same way as the other ones. We just do this quest for the paraglider, do the Cameroon. So it takes us about, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, but yes, I guess things we look out for is any little loot we want to nab. Um, there's one important chest in the castle when we have to go there, which is a diamond. Um, we get it every playthrough because diamonds are always good. Um, especially in this case, diamonds are good because uh, we need the champion arms. And those always require at least a couple diamonds. Uh, in this case, it's going to be three diamonds. So the Light Skull Trident requires three. We'll get one from this segment right here. And then there's not really any diamond chests in the Zora area. Um, nor is there a lot of like rare calluses, which drop a lot of diamonds. So we're just going to have to get lucky with the ore deposits. But since there's going to be a lot of caves around there, because it's a regional now phenomenon area. Hi, Kira. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, we should hopefully get those two diamonds by the end. Because we really only need that stuff for Ganon. So when you and Prince is also, go beneath this is your first challenge run stream you're watching live, but you're watching my uh, <laughs> Breath of the Wild Zora run. Mother. Just watching it, nice. <laughs> that was fun, too. I'm happy to be doing different versions of, well... Rather updated versions of those runs. And what? they're going to be completely different, too. The Breath of the Wild one was fun um, because, well, Breath of the Wild runs are just very to the point, which I like them. This one, you can just really elaborate on things and just really go off in a certain, like, aesthetic, which is cool. Um, we had the Breath of the Wild one, like, one of our challenges was to kill the Lionel right away instead of just getting the shock arrows. Um, so that's pretty cool with the weapons. And that was also a cool run, because on Master Mode, there's just so many of those uh, good weapon platforms leading up to the domain. So you get all those really cool Master Mode weapons if you're doing it on that mode. Um, so yeah, it made the path up more interesting. But in this one, we're going to have a different path, because uh, they purposely designed the regions now, where there's a new path to the city every single time. Um, well, I guess minus the desert one, because they're... Well, they, they kind of changed the order of the canyon, actually, I lied. Um, but not the desert itself, besides, like, adding, like, a chasm. So, a little bit, but, um, especially this one, instead of taking the main path, there is now, like, a bunch of caves that lead up a hillside, and then you can float down from the tower at the top. Okay. Um. Whee. No branch. There we go. I'm still... <laughs> Yeah, Link will be pantless until we get to finish the Water Temple. I know. Because, um, yeah, there's one odd theme between both Breath of the Wild and Tears, and that's uh, you can't get the Zora Pants until you beat the Zora Temple. That's true across both games. Like, in this one, it's locked behind the temple. and Breath of the Wild, it's locked behind the temple. Um, but at least Breath of the Wild, it felt cool because uh, the underwear that he wore was the same color as the Zora Tunic. So it looked like a mock Zora aesthetic. So sadly, it won't look as fitting until after the temple, which that's going to be a lot of the run because there's a lot to do before the temple and the temple itself. So we're only going to have that full aesthetic for like the second half, which is fine because we'll have the rest. Um, yeah, this also applies for the, uh, what's it called too? The glider. You can't really get the regional gliders until after the temple. Um, <laughs> 
only run where it makes sense right away is uh, the Rito runs because, uh, you know, you have a Rito paraglider. So. But yes, thank you everyone. Hopefully you're having a good Saturday. I am still reading everything. I'm basically caught up. Uh, but thanks for being here. Um, I'm glad you guys are hype as I am. Um, it is very fun. Um, I didn't even get to mention half the things yet. I'm kind of just talking about stuff as I think of them. Also, door, please open. Thank you. But uh, I always make a map for my runs. And I can pull that up now, but I do have it in the Discord. Um, so I will just pull it up right now as I'm just walking to get the glider. So this is the Zora Items map. If you notice, uh, yeah, it's very confined to the region, which obviously... Um, there's not a lot of outliers, which in Breath of the Wild, there were like a lot of just random Zora weapons on the map. Um, but here, they're very confined to the region itself. Um, the one difference between this map and the last one we did, which is Gerudo, is I pinged like likes now because they're very good for finding the weapons because they all have a chance of dropping one of those weapons, either like the melees or the bows or the shields. So they're almost just as important as the normal weapon spawns now. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it up for a second. There's really nothing important on the screen. This map is more helpful if you zoom in on it, which I can't do right. Or I guess I can. Yeah, I can. <laughs> um, it's not a very good zoom. This is like the starting section. So we're going to start by getting these weapons right here. Um, <laughs> my zoom is all or nothing, so it's like not helpful. <laughs> so I'm like not going to do that. But yeah, that map will be in my Discord in the, uh, the map section. So I put all my challenger maps in one area. Mm. <laughs> and let us go. Yeah, are we getting prestige weapons in the depths? Yes. This is basically just for like the first like half of the run until we get those. So once we have all these weapons broken, we're playing with them for a while, then we will, uh, well, start getting pristine ones. So by the end, it's basically just gonna be all pristine stuff. Um. <laughs> Mifa or Riju? See, I was never like the hugest Mifa fan. Like Mifa was cool, but I always thought the other champions just had more charm to me, so I like them. Uh, but I don't know. I still just really like the whole collective vibe of the champions. So like as just like a unit, I think the champions just work just so well together. Um, so I can't really give hate to any of them. Um, but if we're just talking about Zoras, I just love Sidon so much. So he's just one of my favorites. Okay. Mm. It confuses you why they brought back Divine Helms instead of just making Sage Masks instead. I assume just to kind of like unify the two regions, like this region where just like the Sheikah stuff happened recently and whatnot to the old one. So that's why Link will wear the new version of the mask, which is the Sheikah one, but the Sages wore the old version of the mask, which is, you know, the old version. So I don't know, it's like a cool synergy between the two regions, between current and past with the Sages. So that's why I assume so, and I think it works well. Also, sorry, I'm looking for the Royal Hidden Passage because, um, that's where I need to get to my loot. Yes. And yeah, since I'm only using Zoro weapons, I'm only going to be getting those and the Travelers from the Ghosts in the Depths. That's true. Because uh, those Ghosts only work by... Well... Even if they have other things in their drop tables, if you didn't break those weapons, uh, the drop tables get smaller. So you have a better chance at getting the specific thing. Speaking of this, did you know that the ancient sages of lightning, water, and wind have fully modeled faces under their helms? I did not know that. I guess it makes sense, but that's a good detail because they didn't have to. Um, wait, lightning, water, and wind. Does it mean that the Goron sage doesn't or they just not include that? 
Goran just has no face. I like that. Just silly fall. I always get these arrows here. Okay. And this is always the one pit stop I take, but it's so good. Yep, just right there. And every single run needs diamonds. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> Yeah. In this case, we're going to need three, so only two more. And that's how we get the uh, light skill trident. So I'll we'll have to get the others from, uh, I'm just going to say ore deposits. We'll be lucky enough. With all the caves in the Zoro region, I'm, I think we will be able to get one, honestly. Hmm. Also, the Goron Sage has no head if you remove the helmet. <laughs> They just forgot about him. They're like, nah. <laughs> Why hate against Gorons? They're like the silliest ones. And they have the silliest faces. But he's gonna meet those standards. They're like, nah. There we go. And yeah, rules of the run are in the objective panel. Um, which that is accessed by either scrolling down on PC or checking out the about section on mobile but if i just sort of skim through them again um there is five rules so the first one is only using zor weapons and armor thank you windows alert uh why are those going off <laughs> um second is it made me lose my train of thought okay first is zor weapons and armor second is um clearing the entire wellspring island and the temple third one is Getting four sages' wills to upgrade Sidon. Fourth one is obtaining all Zora arms and uh, just equipment. So we're going to be getting the light skill trident and the glider. And we're also going to be getting the divine beast helmet. Also for Sidon. And then fifth one is just defeating Ganon. So it sounds simple, but there's going to be a lot within the region itself to do all those things. Especially all the weapons needed. There's going to be a lot of caves to check out and... Um, even just with that, there's just so much, so many things to do in every region. Quests and everything. The glider is a quest. The sage's wills is four separate areas. Um, getting all the weapons required to clear Wellspring Island is going to be a lot just around the region. I'm just going to skin that. <laughs> Satori Diamond 2.0. <laughs> oh my god. That was so nice. But yeah, literally, though, because it's like that guaranteed diamond. It just doesn't respawn, so. Um, I'm trying to think of all other diamond locations. There's not a lot, to be honest. Um, hmm. There's very few chests. So that one, um, in the Garuda run, there is a hidden diamond in the Desert Temple, actually. We got it during that run. Um, it's the most hidden room in there, because um, there's like a lot of... Oh, how can I put it? There's a lot of like odd elevation with like using ascend, which you can use ascend to break a lot of the rooms in that dungeon because you know it's the pyramid shape and everything. Um, but there's like a special room where you can only get into it by ascending, and you can only find it by looking at the map. And there's like a single rectangle on the floors that's inaccessible through any other way. So if you get under it a layer and you ascend into it, it's literally just a room with a diamond chest and. It's probably one of the most hidden chests in the game, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's helpful in the Gruda run because you need four diamonds for that. Um, yeah. So yeah, we got that diamond, this one, and then... Uh, I think one from ore deposits, but if you need more, there are a few rare taluses around. And rare taluses have a high chance of dropping diamonds. Uh, it's about one in every two rare taluses drop a diamond, so... It's helpful. <laughs> Yep, now we just got this stuff. <laughs> Correction, nerf Satori Diamond. <laughs> yeah, just a one time. It's quite a nerf. Is there an impossible diamond chest in the opening? Interesting. Boop. 
That's fine. Um, and speaking of like gem odds and stuff like that, the tool that'll be helpful besides diamonds, or rather diamonds is the one, but uh, opals will be nice too because clearing the muck. Um, and like sure, you can use opals in other ways, but um, I don't know. I never really utilize like using gems as explosives because that's how they work in this game if you want them to. Um, a bit wasteful, but they're also very fun. So we might do that. If we get some opals, have fun with them. You know that impossible chest has arrows, but it's a random one that's impossible to get to. <laughs> nice. I know Breath of the Wild had some of those too, but I never bothered trying to get them. Okay, well the first part of this is basically done. We're just gonna get the camera, which I think the camera's required. Um, is it? I don't fully remember. See, the interesting thing about these challenge ones is that these are like my second time exploring all these all this content. Cause like when I was doing my Breath of the Wild runs, I played the game multiple times before I started doing any challenge runs. But for these runs, like when I did my Gerudo run, that was only my second play through the game technically. Um, so second time experiencing like the Lightning Temple and everything. Uh, so for this run, this will be my second time experiencing the whole Zora quest line, Wellspring Island, and all that. So I think it's interesting because I've been getting used to just doing a lot of runs like based on playing it like a ton. So these runs, it's based on just, you know, a lot of general game knowledge, but like the specific actions of going through the temples and segments, I've only experienced once. So. Let's wait for the opal. I thought the opals only did 10 damage for the explosion. Yeah, because I thought like the other elements, like rubies, a topaz, sapphire, those did 80 plus elemental. But I thought opals were just 10 damage. I, I never looked too far into that one. Because I'm mainly just going to use opals to clear the muck anyways, so... Um. Didn't pay too much attention to the damage. And plus, we want to have multi-shot bows, which is the best use for him. But Zora bows are fun, just in general. Okay. What are we doing today? I'm doing well. Wellspring. That's where we're going. <sighs> okay. Well, straight from here, I always take my special route. Um, my special route includes taking advantage of the fact that we're airborne. So we will do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I believe I did this the first time I played. Either it was the first launch or just one of the first launches, but... I was like, I want to make it down that pit. And I have the glider now, so you know what? I can, right? And this is the first time I ever entered the depths, was, uh... By just launching straight out of the tower. And... There we go. Mm -hmm. What version of... A Tears of the Kingdom do I play? Just the newest one. I'm not very much into glitches and stuff. Uh, I think the only one I feel FOMO towards, um, like there was a cool glitch with like low gravity and you can just keep using like a rocket to keep like propelling yourself. Which you can do a version of it still, but not like the cool version. Uh, Cause that would have been cool for this run. But yeah, that one got patched from a updated version. Where's the light road? <laughs> there it is. Okay. That's basically it. Um, Because we still have to talk to Robbie back at the place, so... I'm going to warp back there. 
talk to Robbie, and then I can warp back here and get the camera room. And then we're all set. The run can start. So, like, yeah, everything we did now, not stuff that makes it into video. Um, there's basically, like, an official starting point every run, and it's basically just right where the action picks up. So, as soon as we start entering into, like, the swamp, that'll be our, act our real starting point. Um, but this is fine, because... Again, there's, if there's a lot to talk about, I'll rather do it over this stuff. Um, it's basically like the Great Plateau of this, but not. Just in terms of time, because Breath of the Wild runs, we spent like the first 45 minutes just talking about the run, getting warmed up, and uh, solving the Great Plateau. But in this run, it's almost the same amount of time just to get the paraglider and camera. And that's skipping Great Sky Island. Because again, we have the challenge run save, for those who missed it. Uh, we basically just beat the, the Great Sky Island once. Um, we just got normal stuff, we didn't pick up any weapons. So we have stuff that you'd expect from the Great Sky Island. Um, we did it for our Gruder run initially, but... Yeah, we just kept that save, so... We just have not been manual saving, and we've done... Well, this is our third run so far. We did the Gruder run, the Ego run, now the Zora. So basically, any of these seam runs where the Great Plateau is irrelevant, we're just going to use this file. So, it just makes the most sense. It's like, yeah. Plus, I will get very burnt out of the Great Skyland if I had to do it every single run. It's just so atmospheric. It's like, it's not a section I want to rush. Like, Great Plateau is fine because just like, phew, like, <laughs> seen it 30 times before. What's five more going to do? Um, but... In this case, I've only, yeah, seen it a couple now. Okay. And yeah, um, for Amiibos, we will do Mifa probably later. Um, just because it's fun. It doesn't really do anything too game-changing. And yeah, how am I about to do everything till we get to Zoro's Domain? There's a lot of early Zora weapons, so I'm not too worried about that. Also, it's this way. I'm just a little klutz. Did the Gruder run for Breath of the Wild? It was really fun. Thanks for the idea. Sure. I mean, it is really fun. Um, especially some of those early challenge runs I did, like the Gerudo, the Zora. Um, yeah, those two especially. They're just... They're very good, like, starter challenge runs because there's just a lot of the weapons. They're very fun to do. Um, a lot of weapon variety, of course, too. Um, but, yeah. I'm glad that we started with those ones for Breath of the Wild. And, yeah, enough weapons so it makes the four Divine Beast rush manageable, too. It makes it possible because, like, not all runs, you know, have access to things where you can do the Divine Beast without breaking the rules. Yeah. Like, the Goron run, it's like... We didn't do half the Divine Beast because you need a, a, a bow for those, basically, for the boarding segments. Um, a bow and shield for Naboris, too. But yeah. Also, it's like these runs are customizable. Like, uh, if you want to add in little exceptions because just that makes it more fun for you, do it. Like, that's why I like these types of challenge runs. They're not, like, confined to, like, a universal set of rules. It's just like, yeah, okay. For this run, it makes sense if we just, you know, beat the regional stuff, gonna throw in a side objective or two, um, maybe get the yeah. Sage's Wills, like, whatever just feels in theme, makes sense. And, like, extending to the Breath of the Wild versions, it's like, oh, if you wanna um, play in normal or master mode, then by all means. Like, they're very customizable, and it's more so just a way to appreciate the different types of you know, cultures and aesthetics in each game. But any, any challenge you add on top of that, just a bonus, so. What? But you're here. <laughs> I think I talked to her like 0.3 seconds early. But anyways, yeah, we just got to talk to him. Then we warp back to the light route, and then Robbie will be at the next light route, and then we're good. I'm just mashing. Um, 
quick question, which weapons got removed? Um, since I'll make this run a lot harder. Um, it would just be the Silver Skill Spear, actually. So, just one. Um, it was basically just a better Zora Spear. But because of the Fuse system, they removed all tiers of similar weapons. Um, so, it's the same weapon spread as Breath of the Wild minus the Silver Skill Spear, which was just a better Zora Spear. Um, it looked really cool, too, but no longer here. Um, but... I guess, although not different weapons, he did change the name on some of them. So, um, the Zora Longsword and the Zora Shield used to be called the Silver Longsword and Silver Shield. Um, which, yeah, they just kind of streamlined it all to Zora because it just made sense for Zora weapons. Um, but yeah, sometimes weapons would have different names. Um, so yeah, there were Zora weapons and Silver weapons in Breath of the Wild. And... Yeah, they just changed everything that was silver to Zora, and then removed the silver scale spear. So, yeah, interesting. We get that. It was actually very similar with the Gerudo run too, because the Gerudo is the other main race that has pretty much all the main weapons. Um, but well, the Gerudo claymore in this game was the golden claymore in Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah, and the golden bow. So, for Gerudo stuff, they had Gerudo weapons and golden weapons. So, there was a golden bow, golden claymore, but in this game, it's just Gerudo bow, Gerudo claymore. So yeah, Gerudo and Zora were the two races to have two different naming schemes for the weapons. And in both cases, some of those weapons got removed, and the ones that weren't just got changed to the main name, so prefer the Breath of the Wild names, it just made it more unique, you know? But I get it, since there's more of a confined variety in this game, well, they wanted to keep it more confined, so... That only makes sense, personally. Did we talk to him? <laughs> I guess so, because I don't remember where we're going. I've only played this a few times, not 30. I don't remember everything. Ah. Uh. Ah. Blowing area. Right, the campfires. I... <laughs> I don't have bright bloom seeds. I mean, I do, but... I just want to see if we get some more freebies. Wait, is the ceremonial trident stolen? No, that's removed too. Because that was literally just a light skill trident that was just renamed and debuffed. Um. Wait, is there a Zorbo in this game, actually? You don't recall there being one. That's a very good point. You know why? Because uh, <laughs> there are Zorbos, but if we look at our Zora map, you'll see why they're a bit of a rarity. Um... Do you see the key over here? I have like numbers saying the quantity of each weapon. So there's seven spears, nine swords, eight long swords. There is one bow, one single Zora bow. It's right there. Um, now that's the only natural location. You can always still get them from like like so. So your best bet in getting a Zora bow or shield, um, since like none of them respawn, is from like like. So I pin some of them. There's some caves over here. That is a like-like, that is two like-likes, uh, some loose like-likes over here, and there, there. There's also a couple more like-likes uh, in, like, the area south of this by, like, Mount Lanero. Um, those ones have the Zora drop table, too. I just didn't include them in this map. Um, but, yeah, if you go to the object map, type in like-like Zora, you'll see them all. Got lost. <laughs> oh yeah, it's that light road. Okay. <laughs> no wonder you haven't found it. Yeah. Um, when I was making that map, I I wasn't even aware of that until the other day when I made the map. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I was like, that makes a lot more sense. But it's not that bad because of like likes, and like likes are a very key factor in these runs. So. Even when we start getting all pristine weapons in this run, after we break the initial Zoro weapons, 
Um, yeah, we'll still be going to, well, the <laughs> like likes for our shields and bows. Because those are very helpful always. Fox is going to eat it. And yeah, I always take a few of these because... The goal is just not to die before, you know, we get to the main parts of the run. I remember if there's a muddle tree here. I might try to get some of these because, uh, yeah, there'll at least be one depth segment in the run when we get all the weapons. But I have a little something will be nice. Yeah, I generally don't remember if there was a muddle bud tree. Oh, yes, sir. It's okay. So you can get all three types. Uh, before going to the segment. Which, yeah, any throwables are okay, because it's very natural to get these three, because they're just everywhere in the depths. And yeah, I'm just getting the camera room usually because it's fun, but Woo! that could have been bad, actually. Um, yeah, camera room because it's fun, nice to have always. Um, and I think it's required for something. I genuinely remember the Zora segment the least, but most of it's just dialogue anyways, so it's not stuff I need to remember for this run. I'm just more so re-experiencing those when they happen. Bows and shields, especially rare, because, uh, yeah, you can't find them in the depths either, so. <laughs> depths are so much more terrifying when Link loses all his pigmentation. <laughs> it's just like, uh-oh, anything can come. I almost bodied this entire bottle of water already. I, I don't know why. Okay, well... Now we gotta talk to Robbie, get the camera. You guys buzz off. <laughs> like we're on the surface. <laughs> Alright, we'll have the same picture that we always do. <laughs> it's like all Breath of the Wild players have a picture of Pyrrha. Because it just, you have to do it for the quest. And then half those players just keep that picture because it's like, I don't know, your first picture. In this game, it's just a random little statue. Compendium. <laughs> Muscle rat. <laughs> Where'd that go? Yeah, but it's nice, and we'll have it. Yeah. Plus, the other half of the reason for doing this is even just getting those couple of bombs, puff shrooms, and muddle buds. They're just fun to use sometimes in the segments until we get max weapons for what we need. Um... But other than that, it's just nice to have. We like taking pictures during the run, and it's fun. And I think we need to take a picture of something during the quest, but I don't remember. I just get it anyway, because it's nice to just take a trip to the depths and get another warp point. And that's basically why. So, anyways, I think we're ready. Okay, so I'm going to warp here. Because the Zora area is over here. It's a swamp. I think, honestly, the best point is if we go here and just fly down. That could be fun. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I think that'll be our route this time. Because there is, like, that launching platform on the Great Sky Island. And that should take us very far into the swamp. Because we need to make it to the other end. So... I'm so excited for this stream. I'm so excited to watch more Minish Cap. 
we've been having fun with that. Uh, very spontaneous stream the other night, but um, we'll probably do another Minish Cap stream later this week, or later next week, rather. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to be right back, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm going to use the restroom. Um, I'm also going to refill my water. So give me like two minutes, then the run will literally begin as soon as we start. We're just going to take the glider, glider down to the swamp, and then boom, Zora weapons, all that. So I'll be right back. Uh, thank you guys oop, for being part of the intro. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to leave that up if you just want to see the map because it's cool. Um, and yeah, again, this map can be downloaded um, in our Discord, which is in link below. And there's just a map section, like a map tab where we keep all the maps. So feel free to see it there. I'll be right back. Um, one second. Okay. Penny can watch the stream. Okay, <laughs> well, we are here. Thank you, Penny. Yoink. Oh, hello. <laughs> One second. Mm, looks all good. Sorry, figure there's a better thing to look at than uh, that, <laughs> so. Freezing link. We're, we'll be freezing too for a second, but. So only eating plants would fit in the Zora run, or only bugs and lizard? Well, I mean, fish eat other fish, so... I wasn't looking at a dietary restriction this time. Okay. So now we gotta quickly make it over here. We're gonna freeze a little bit. So it's, ooh, it's gonna be bright and early when we do this. Um... I'm gonna save my capsules and whatnot. There's just the wing right there. I love the Great Sky Island a little so much. Now you download the maps, uh, it's in my Discord. There is a Google Drive where I have them all. And in my Discord, yeah, it's a, it's a map section. So it's called Zelda Maps. Um, it's, you can't miss it, so. Okay. There we go. Looks like we're gonna clip our wings here. Wait a second. I am I'm a stupid baby. Uh I just thought something we should be doing. Okay, first we gotta eat food so we don't die. That's a good one. Um I don't mind eating some of this food just to supplement our health. Okay. 
Right, I forgot that we can do this because we'll have to make it further than we want to. And we're not going to die, don't worry. I'm paying attention to my hearts. Okay. Apple, 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 apple. And then... Yeah, we basically got, got to turn a whole 180. Or 140, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna turn first and then go. All right. So. Is that good? That's almost perfect. Okay. And then we hit it. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, fish flying our way out of here. All the way to, well, the swamp. It's lovely. See, this is the way to do it. Um, starting to fish run in the air. Just, uh, yeah. What a way to begin. It's a little island right there. Oh. <laughs> and you know what? Well. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> oh, already got the glider, so that's fine. See? No fancy warps. Just a nice glide into it. So I don't think there's anything important on the island, but it's a stamina checkpoint, so. The greatest fish in the sea, the mighty Megalodon. But just without the size. Sidon will have that. Oh. I guess we can stop here. <laughs> What's that going to be? Ouch. <laughs> Pain. Something we don't need. <laughs> All the way over there. Not interested in green tunics. I'm interested in these though. Never know when you need parts. Far and few sometimes, because you can't really make elaborate stuff in challenge runs. Because uh low battery, you don't have all the capsules yet. But there's always fun stuff. Just randomly floating. Yeah, I don't know that the flu like detached like this. <laughs> Feels like one of the ones that fall with recall, you know? Is it? No, I... <laughs> They're normally not like that. Or maybe I just don't notice enough. Usually they're a bit bigger, you know? If they're going to be separate. I don't know. I'm nitpick. Water time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll be the land of fish. Be part of our own kind here. Fish fly. Fish survive. And very luckily, there's going to be uh, a lot of starter weapons for us, so. Hmm. We're not very far off from the first. But it should just be on the bridgeway. That's one nice thing about it, it just, you can get kickstarted very fast. And I kind of need that. Wait a second. <laughs> You're not a fish. But you have my weapon. Huh. Yep. There it is. Your first Zora spear. What? 
We need to show this guy the power of the water. Uh, how, how are we going to do that? We don't have weapons. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, he does too. The amphibious friends are... Bleh. The amphibious friends are protecting the ones weak to water. Why was that our first death? Did that have to be our first? No. <laughs> uh. Crank some 90s on him. I'm about to send him 360 degrees into this pond here. As I was saying, <laughs> The ways of the water are strong. <laughs> Flurry bomb. <laughs> um, it's gonna happen again. It's just gonna happen again. <laughs> I just love those death freezes. <laughs> I mean, come on, we're a fish out of water here. Like, <laughs> we need to get in theme first. That's that's the important part. Okay. Well, two deaths. Two. It's fine. We'll live. Bomb launch. I did it the same way. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna do a little restart. Just just a little restart. Just remember, third time's the charm, so this has to be the charm. <laughs> okay. Literally running a marathon here. In my mind. Also, usually he like patrols the bridge, but he's just sniffing the uh <laughs> the wood here. Okay. Maybe we should oh we should throw it to the left so he goes that way. Like that! Okay. <laughs> He was not amphibious enough. Look! <laughs> Our first door weapon! A Zora Spear! And of course, most powerful when wet. And <laughs> already good parts for fusing, too. Nice. It's funny, that guy was there since uh, Breath of the Wild. He just has been patrolling all these years. Yeah, some of the enemies were stubborn enough for that. Hmm. Loopy cave? <laughs> well, of course. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> and of course, caves are good. Discovery. <laughs> and look at that! <laughs> Rock like. Well, I stole my general tools. Oh, and he's gonna be generally annoying. Not again. Perfect. Um, <laughs> no, he's a regular like. Thank you, Mr. Boko. <laughs> okay. Oh. We may have heard him on the outside, but it didn't change who he was on the inside. What a strong spirited monster. Oh, you know what? We forgot to get the water first.
You know what? We're gonna do this here. And then, we're in water, we get the modifier. 46 damage. Okay. Do the first one so it breaks in the second. And then the third one so it breaks on him. Okay. Shatter is outside. Oh, Shatter is spirits. Oh. That, not shattery enough. Uh. Here. I'm water, you're fire. There we go. Oh, we lost our water. Uh. Can I get a water effect from an egg? No? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> we don't have any splash fruits yet. Uh. It's okay. Wait, his thing's out. Okay. Alright. Let's submerge ourselves a little bit. 46. <laughs> okay. And we'll keep this wetness until he dies. Make it quick. Like that. Yes! And we still have the buff. Okay. No! <laughs> no. Yes, we do. Okay. Bye bye. Four shot him. <laughs> <gasps> and that is the power of the Zora weapons. And makes it even more powerful. Is that we just get even more. <gasps> All these like likes will give us loot that we like. It's so handy. What's that? Horriblin. You should get down before my water expires. <laughs> Genuinely don't know how long it lasts. <laughs> it lasted that long, technically. Man. <laughs> Look, I'm no cave fish here. We're strong, but we're weak. Fish are pretty weak. Oh. All right, you know, let's just dabble in our one shot protection. Okay, good. Monkeys. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, whoa! They like never do that move. Uh, <laughs> no, not good. <gasps> Splashies! Yeah, <laughs> it's water on the go. <laughs> it's water we can throw. <laughs> Get out of here. Nope, <laughs> get back. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Two shots. There we go. <laughs> And hammer attachments. No. A guy already tried this strat. You can't beat us twice at our same game. <laughs> bye bye. Or you can't beat us thrice at least. Okay. You know, we're gonna need some sort of uh ore breaker. Yeah, even a weak one. The all two shots, uh, or deposits regardless. Or these. One, 
too. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> Is this where we retreat? Not after this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take any good gems. There's two specifically we're hoping for. It wasn't those. So long. <laughs> okay. I look for these guys too. Oh. You know, we can go for a quick, uh, Yoink. Wait. Give me the fruit. Thank you. No, other way. <laughs> oh. Up, oh, Spear Guy's just gonna. Ooh. <gasps> I gotta fly in again. Just right above? No! <laughs> Got him. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the fruit. And <laughs> I'm glad I'm alive. <laughs> Okay, not a not an awful start. <laughs> the four deaths say otherwise, but uh <laughs> just for the funds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just be happy we're alive half the time. I didn't notice if anyone important was here. We have a bobo ken. A lizard. What does the lizard have? That's no Zora weapon. That is a fish sword though. You just want to hurt fish today, don't you? No, I can't allow that. <laughs> but I guess I am by avoiding the fight. <laughs> hmm. What's his friend doing here? By the muck? <gasps> well. He's got a pretty good weapon. <laughs> hmm. You like water, don't you? Make a deal. We'll both have some. But who can use it better? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Not even a lizard. Sword. And. It'll be our first sword. <laughs> you know what? We literally got the best and coolest sword attachments in the game. It already looks awesome, but it's all rusty and stuff, so you know what? It literally looks like a pristine, but scimitari Zor weapon. It's so cool. Yep. No more gloom rust on it. Just beautiful. Sorry, that's one of the best combos. I love that. Well, before we take the path up to the tower, there's just going to be one more. We got the spears, the sword, and now just for the final melee type. Not fish clubs. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the muck is raining. I'll get yeah, uh, icky. I can handle the stuff. Whoop. 
can't handle that either. Persist. Oh, please. <laughs> Okay, good. What? <laughs> I thought that was a... Ow! I don't know what failed that. My, my delicious food. I, I really like that stuff. Basically got yeah there we go. <laughs> I can't wait for some real fish to eat. What fusion of that? This is the blue Lizalfos horn. It's such an amazing one. You know you're going the right way by seeing all these uh, newly developed platforms. Yeah. It's the start of the new route. See? All built up to it. But, uh... I know there's a friend around here first. Unless he is up. Oh. <laughs> here he is. At the base of it all, a giant Zora Claymore. Or Longsword. Okay. Well, we got approximately one more water to do this. Make a count. Oh. We need like the biggest charge imaginable. Nope, our charge is better. Oh! <laughs> Not quite! <laughs> we have no heavy weapons to knock them down. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Take. Thank you. For making my time miserable here. <laughs> okay, brush him away. Oh, jeez. <laughs> These guys don't play around. We're literally getting tossed around like a fish here. Like, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't clean the boss before we hit him. <laughs> Literally baseballed. We're not doing this very efficiently. Okay. And then backflip. There we go. There it is. Okay. <laughs> no, he's going down. No, I'm hitting a shield. Okay. Well. Bouncy longsword. <laughs> you know what? You have... <laughs> you guys should know the cruelty of your own boss. Ow. Hmm. Boink. <laughs> the wall. Bonk. Oh my god. I'm out of water. There we go. Oh, that's just for the shield. Yeah, just because just it's funny. <laughs> Yeah, keep charging, guys. See what happens. <laughs> See, your boss wasn't a good guy after all. This pain is what he was making me feel. Learn sympathy. Buzz off. 
Your batter's off. Okay. I can eat the meats. That's good. <laughs> okay. Cliff time for you. <laughs> or tree time. Alright. You know how to send a corpse flying? Uh-oh. <laughs> I was almost the corpse flying. One and two. <laughs> That was a double, at least. Well, at least with that, we now have all three of the Zora melee weapons. The shields and bows will come, although much harder to get now. But... <laughs> that's okay. We'll loot this. Thank you. Yeah, I think that was good. Only important thing now is taking this giant descent up and making the region ours. Oh, muck. <laughs> Icky. And lizards, no! <laughs> there will be a lot of you, aren't there? At least that's handy. Yeah. Talons and horns. Hmm, yeah, I like these new uh, makeshift paths up. They really want to be the canyon area so bad. With all these wood platforms. Oh. I know it's going to be rain on the forecast today. Get out of the muck. I don't have water. I, do I need water? <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, is there water? Do you guys have water? <laughs> Please, there has to be some somewhere. Eggs? Are eggs water? No. When you're early in a playthrough, you don't have anything that can actually help. Not even normal choo shoes. Sad. Sure. More. Thank you. Ooh. More violence for more reward. Come on, you know like the splash fruit plants that are literally everywhere? There's definitely one up top this mountain. It just feels like there will be, you know? Splash Mountain. Well, there's at least a Korok tree, right? <laughs> of course it will be. Yay. And yeah, we will be getting Depths weapons, of course. Uh, we're just gonna have to break these three first. So, we break the decayed versions. Then we'll unlock the pristine versions in the depths. But that's for later, of course. Hmm. Yeah, I I didn't find any water weapons. I'm sorry, chest. <laughs> Literally no water. I'm about to shrivel up here. Oh, 
That's just a shame. We'll never know. We'll never know what was there. Life is lost. Oh. There's a little race across the pillars. <laughs> That's neat. Environmental race. I like when you take advantage of that. Ruins. More ruins. Elevate. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lot of these to get around the region. <gasps> oh, here's the water. Okay. You <laughs> we made it all the way there. Sort. This better have been worth it. Hey. This better have been worth that. Wing. <laughs> One wing. We already have wings. <laughs> it's Great Sky Island loot. Along with like pretty much everything else here. Besides those other few. Also, a bunch of splash plants at the fish island above Zora's domain. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure later won't be a problem, especially with Sidon. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, Link. You got this. You got it. Okay. Well, <laughs> leads us to our first cave. First cave here. <laughs> what better way to ascend a mountain than <laughs> finding all the caves that lead up it? Poof. Okay. Oh, and these caves are naturally wet. Works for me. Just one, two. A yeah, nice fire here. Totally gonna get a lot of utilization. The meat! They have a peace offering! <laughs> Thank you. Oh! I think the peace ends here, though. Oh, but they're above water. Silly idiots. <laughs> you guys can't swim like me. <laughs> Maybe you picked a bad area, <laughs> being with the Zoros. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe they're just really good at spearfishing. <laughs> oh. We're so strong, but so weak. Peace offering. <laughs> they mean business now. Oh, wait. Peace offering. Eh. Can't reach that one. <sighs> yeah. Show them a little business. That's fine. Two, three. Cutlery. Can't even tell which way you're hitting. Wait, bouncy. Into the water. Bad angle. Good angle. Never mind. <laughs> the death is regardless. But the water was. Nope. <laughs> Not a factor. Ooh, the guts. Okay. Now this guy. And suffer his fate. 
Just a weak one does the trick. Should have taken swimming lessons. <laughs> All right. We do a throw. We recall the throw. And it hits back. <laughs> Unnecessary from this angle, but <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, I need two hits of a hammer spear. We'll break one. Why is there a boulder here? Why is there a boulder there? Oh, it's a platform. How interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so if I want to go like that, I sure can. Make another platform. <laughs> For those who can't swim. Like the Horblins. Uh-oh. Wait, how about you break the ore for me? Oh. <laughs> Gonna break a lot more than just the ore. <laughs> Good. And I don't think fire will be helpful in this rain. It's not. Um. <gasps> oh yeah. We keep a cobblin. And now we wait. Patient strats are okay. I'm impatient. But head out. Okay. <laughs> Bye, 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 bye. All finished. More of these Zora ones are nice. Jizz? A shield this time! Yes! There's not a lot of shields or bows. Just naturally anywhere else. So like-likes are like our best bet. And I like like that. There we go. Okay. Working on the very pristine look now. <laughs> the New Age Zora. Okay. Keep breaking that. Opal! Okay, water stuff's good. <laughs> For all the muck. <laughs> Surprises everywhere. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Was not expecting one so soon either. This is handy indeed. Oh, stamina. That could be handy. All this truly is. Sticky, sticky. Oh, we can't get that bomb now. Uh oh. Maybe not the best that we... Yep. Okay, one, two. Oh. That. Get iced. Um. Uh. Get shroomed. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Okay. What is our next loot drop? I'm gonna say a long sword. Oh no! <laughs> One in five shot. But that's really good. Yeah, we do kind of need to protect ourselves. <laughs> Seven deaths this early doesn't look too hot. Oh, a lot of crabs, a lot of crabs. Get here, get here. Me, oh. Huck. 
Wow, this is a big cave. I love this area though. Ooh. Zora ruins. I'm just taking it all regardless. Yeah. About a one in nine chance of dropping an opal. Or you get an opal about one in every nine of those. I guess it's a slightly better way to want it. There we go, take all that. <laughs> Never know when you need crabs. We're just gonna wait off on that. These ruins are very zorified. Water everywhere. Oh, was that it? Okay. <laughs> and just a pool, okay. When I first played this, I thought there was like a dive mechanic because I kept seeing these like just, you know, low areas I couldn't access. So I thought that was going to be like the Sage ability. But regardless, Sidon's is going to be very helpful. Just in a different way. He's getting me back. Okay. Sideways swim. Might as well. Oh. Just a lot of orange diamonds. <laughs> the real ones will be nice. We do need to get those champion arms later. Oh, specifically the light skill tridents. <laughs> this one I don't know <laughs> these caves are really cool though hopefully they're just ascending to the tower oh yeah speaking of which <laughs> a lot of good stuff here big right big right there we go <laughs> Bit of all options. And there you have it. <laughs> A nice ascent upwards. And the tower is getting close. <laughs> oh. Or rather. It basically is here in a way, isn't it? Upwards. Yep. Wait a second. Yeah. I forgot that's not the best way up, is it? We still have a bit to climb, so why not just ascend? Where exactly? See, the tower's about here.
Oh wait, up there. Yeah, that should take us to uh, the cliff and we can ascend. It's the best way up here. Not like there's platforms or anything. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And... <laughs> this seems to be doable. Two, three, four. Ugh. Yeah, very. Oop. You're pretty good. <laughs> no colors. Colors. Very hidden. Oh, Zora Sword! <gasps> well, that's just fitting, isn't it? And you know what? I think there's a reason why it's here. <laughs> Cuz go up in the Zora spots and Oh my god. <laughs> Leads almost to the top. <laughs> that was quite perfect. <laughs> oh, hi Muck. And it leads directly to the next cave. <laughs> That's literally the spot to ascend. <laughs> I love how it's all caves that lead into each other. Just, oh, so cool. And this, an ascending cave based off the last one. Oh, archers, but no bows. <laughs> Uh Don't tell me they're ice arrow archers. Or maybe that is good. Oh yeah, because he can freeze the ground. You know, we're gonna plan this tactfully. Here. Don't freeze me, just freeze the water. Yeah, like that. There we go. Up, oh, not me. Look down. <gasps> okay. <laughs> or you know these planks could have been just fine. <laughs> Perfect. Are these planks holding a secret? A chest in the water. You know, I think the icing will be important for this next one. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're a little confused. Uh-oh. No, they're not. Not at all, actually. Just keep backing up. Or shielding. That's fine. <laughs> hit the rock. Or hit this. Yeah. <laughs> Do some arrow mining for me. Spoiler alert. It doesn't work. <laughs> well, if that suits you well. Bye bye. Next one? <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's a little dumb. They both are. Oh, they're eating the fruits. No. <laughs> okay. Alert their sound over here. They're so dumb when they're eating. <laughs> I did that entire thing. Oh, shield. <laughs> you know what this is? <laughs> That's a waste. We'll still get the fruit. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, I always love the caves leading to these regions. So elegant. <laughs> oh. You know what good that it's about to break? Is 
We break that. We can now get pristine versions of that in the depths. For when we check it out. But now we just gotta break these two then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and what do you know? Yeah. There is gonna be a forced blood moon up ahead, so. We can get it sooner than later. I'm gonna free the Zora guy? I guess I can. That could be nice. There you go. Oh. You're free. <laughs> free to now produce uh, pristine variants. Nice. Yeah. What we did before will now be helpful. Well, now. <laughs> nice. It's a cave of puzzles to learn how to ascend. It doesn't want me to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, funny enough, that's one of the last caves I found in my first playthrough. Um. Oh, hi. Look at that reward. More water. Yeah. We got lucky because the rain caves. But we're here. Oh. Zora? A gift. I'd like to be more invested with these guys. <laughs> this is the first way. Link is back. Will you be able to take me to Sidon? Turns out their wits end because of it. Sludge is yucky. <laughs> Unclean gills. Okay. Zoro's went from having electricity to their weakness to now that and sludge. They just keep finding weaknesses to these guys. Whatever to muddle up their gills. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Such friendly guys. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's good. Which muck is around, really? Quite a lot. That's okay. <laughs> Was this worth wasting a splash fruit? Oh, a better splash fruit. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I think it's only a fruit to like a Goron or something. That's not food. But I guess neither is this. Non-edible fruit. There's gotta be more. But maybe not. Maybe just... <laughs> just icky for the sake of it. It is icky for the sake of it, isn't it? Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> These will make the run for now. Whoop! And that too, and that, because why not? Icky, icky, icky. <laughs> All right. For the region. Oh yeah. We can do this. Okay. <laughs> well. Love this. It's to help the region and to find Sidon. <laughs> so we're off. Oh, wow. <laughs> the muck falls. It's Wellspring Isle. I can't wait for that. It is just such a phenomenal build-up. <laughs> it's teased perfectly in the shot, too. 
Okay. Sign on scanning. We have to find our best friend again. Anywhere here. <laughs> also, yeah, hope everyone's doing well. This has been a blast so far, so I'm glad to have started this. I was waiting to do this one. Figured Zoro would be a second, or perfect third theme run. So. Okay. <laughs> Fish fly once more. Is there a shrine in here? I don't remember. Just a ball. Uh, oh, ah. Just something. Oh. Oh my god, the fan. <laughs> you know what? Stop. Yeah. You know why? Cuz. <laughs> Actually, I wonder. I wonder what sort of things will be in that capsule dispenser. Push it there. Perfect. <laughs> we'll take this fan. Right here. Ha. <laughs> Gonna make it exceptionally here. Let's go <laughs> into the domain. Excessively. Oh. Right. <gasps> Anytime you get close to the regional phenomena areas and you haven't seen a blood moon yet, it'll force one. So. It's still the whole Zelda segments make sense. Because it wants you to see the Zelda blood moon cutscene before you see the fake puppet Zelda in the region quest. But yeah, first time we're seeing it in a normal theme run, so. Okay, with that, uh, the depths should have the pristine Zora spears and long swords now. Then, but yeah, things already respond. Otherwise, yep, that's just a canon event. It's gonna happen every time. You know what? What if we just skip the domain for a second? <laughs> I wonder what happens if we go straight for the, uh, the sanctum. Oh, yep. <laughs> I know about this my first time. Oh, did they block you out of it with the waterfall? Nope, they don't. <laughs> Thought I was gonna hit a partial dead end. Hey, I found you first. <laughs> I wonder what. Who approaches? <laughs> we don't know any other context. Just, what are you doing here? King Dorfin is resting. <laughs> Nothing to say to you. Ah, uh, <laughs> We don't have purpose for being here. So of course Muzu the Yum Yucker is going to be here. He just ruins all the fun. Yeah, fight back. No. Nah. Well, <laughs> at least that's mystery solved. Cool music, though. Gotta get out. 
out. Yeah, yeah Sen was originally supposed to be a developer tool, but they put it into the game. Yeah, because of all the, like, the caves and stuff, which is super cool to think about. It's like, yeah, it's like if it's so fun in development, maybe the players will find it fun too. And it is. Exploring the depths and fun of pristine Zorosaur while watching us. <laughs> Funny timing. It is indeed. Okay. More muck, more bad. <laughs> I'll see how it's so icky on the map. I'm not used to this. This rubbish. <laughs> Oh yeah, the divide between clean and icky water. A lot of dams. A lot of muck. No water yet, but... <laughs> oh. Something amazing coming up. Not there. Here. Right? And the throne, it is. Yeah, sludge is bad. <laughs> Making use of the floor room. Another reason why I thought there was going to be a dive mechanic in this game. <laughs> I was like, hmm. But that's not important. <laughs> What is, is... No, it's covered! Clean our friend. Side on! With me! Wait, where is he? Oh. Well, you'll be relieved to know. Where is he? Matter of great importance. Yuno doesn't even know us. Hmm. <laughs> Discussing how we need to wash away the sludge. Regardless. Wait, what? <laughs> we did it before talking to her. That was a nice surprise. Yes. <laughs> the last honorary thing to happen. Yeah. We can save one crisis. Well, yes. We can help with the new one. <laughs> His very best friend, Sir Link. Um, I don't recall me being a Hylian here. That's quite the Zora look. Well, we're very similar. Also a Zora. And a Zora Swordsman. <laughs> a fishman. Ah. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of exposition in the Zora areas. Whoa. One theme across both these games. These guys like to talk. <laughs> Not that it's bad talk, but... <laughs> yeah, upheaval is bad. Brought me to this domain. Let's investigate the area. But a lovely idea. <laughs> we'll have to meet with Sidon. <laughs> oh my god. We need our best friend back. <laughs> Taking on the upheaval will be no problem. <laughs> and Mifa Court. That's fine. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> He's like, hmm. Well, we can't go there so out of form. It 
show our specs a little bit. Maybe a little more Zora like. There's one way we can do this. Wait, you don't know. Wait, didn't you see the floor above, or was I just being crazy? Uh. Where's Yona? Also, no! What does it say? Um, she asks you to meet with Sidon. Okay. We don't have that Zora armor, though, which can be very handy, you see. We do get it before this, right? <laughs> It's already been so long ago since I first and only played this before. Wait. <laughs> Don't run away so fast. You know I need something from you. <laughs> For healing. Oh. I am here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you walked away too fast. <laughs> oh! I haven't entrusted the domain with repairing. My Zora armor! <laughs> Does require one thing. A fish that everyone has by this point. <laughs> it's literally a main quest and everything. Here you go. Great Sky Island. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Well. <laughs> We couldn't do it with just weapons. Yes, yes. That is new. <laughs> Very new. Finally have. Well, an actual good part of the look. <laughs> Along with our well wishes. Before we go to Wellspring Island. <sighs> yes, we can finally climb the waterfalls. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. Well, you can finally get the ability of a fish. And there it is. The most important part. <gasps> that looks good. We're already matching very nicely. Especially with the sword. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Looking good. True fish out of water. But more fishy. Before I fully leave for Sidon, though, there is something I can nab. Also, thank you, ER5000, for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. Also, in your current play through the game, you did not get the Zora armor. You just completed the dungeon without it because you forgot. That's actually possible. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> but, huh, that could actually... That's interesting, because you'll have to take a lot of shortcuts. Or long cuts, I guess. Hmm. Could have sworn there was an important chest here. There's a chest there, whatever that is. You had to go to the Sky Islands to get Ancient Arowana? I mean, it makes sense. It's like, you, it is possible to miss them on the Sky Island. Um. Okay, where did I ping that on my map? It could be in the sludge. Or wait, no, it's a, it's a layer above, I think. Okay. Where are you? <laughs> These odd scales of the region. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't appear until after the dungeon. I'm not too sure. Okay, there usually is a chest here with the Zora thing, but maybe it doesn't appear until you beat the dungeon. That I was unaware of.
Was it not? Here, I'm gonna check my map. Um, I'm gonna pull it up. Yeah, there should be a, a shield chest there. But I have not been seeing that shield chest. Let's type in my object map. Um, <laughs> it could just be a uh, post-dungeon thing. Which I'm still assuming. Um, boop. Zor shield. Is it in the sky portion? It is in the sky portion. I'll make sure to update that on my map. Okay. That's good to know. There's always like one thing that I mess up. <laughs> yeah. It just made sense. It felt like there would actually be one here. Okay, so that is in the sky, so we'll have to make sure. It's like the only Zor weapon in the sky. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice game. Okay. Um, so that's for later. Yeah, there's literally no Zor weapons in the domain itself. How crazy. All right, but we can swim a little faster. Which doesn't seem a little faster because the water's working against us. That's a rock, not a chest. Make it, make it, make it. Zora style, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There used to be like a lot of Zora weapons uh, just laying around just under here and some above. But there's literally no Zora weapons in the domain now. I think they just cleaned up the place after Breath of the Wild. A lot has changed, for sure. Now they just hit all those weapons in caves or whatever. Or the enemies stole them. Okay, war point good. You know what else is good? Waterfalls! <laughs> we can swim freely. <gasps> Finally in full Zora fashion. Now we're ready to meet our best friend. Nope. <laughs> Just want fish flying. That's the best way. Hi, birds. Ahoy! Pirate light. I think it's just up there. It's like we know the pristine sanctum's there. But again, it's useless. Stamina up. And lift off. <laughs> Yep, we can freely go left or right now. Love that change from Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah. <gasps> and there is a cave. This is the water experts cave. It leads to the climber's bandana, I believe. And it's not very fun without froggy armor. Nor does it have anything important, so... Just know that's a cave. Also one of the last ones I got in my main playthrough. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> did that rock just fall? It did. Is there anything there? Yeah, that little cave had nothing good in that. So. <laughs> Joining a waterfall midair. Yeah, what's down here? Or maybe it was just for the sake of being a thing. Oh, 
Okay. What? <laughs> Pick up. Fun way to do it. More of those blue lizards. You know, yeah, you know it could be fun. Well, I do like your uh, horns. Oh, me make another one. Oh, what? We got unwatered instantly. And depending on how deep you are in the water, it'll affect the buff. <laughs> We're just in deep crap there. <laughs> we were mid. Ugh. Okay. You gotta fully submerge yourself in the water and you'll last longer. Again, that's how a fish would do it. So that's a little bit of time. That's more time. More time means more pain for him. A little closer. There we go. <gasps> How many? Three. All simply. Ooh, those are good too. <laughs> Break this one up. Whoa, the boomerang! Ah! No! <gasps> they do come back. <laughs> I think that's the only time I got destroyed by a boomerang when they threw it. I was never. <laughs> Unsmart enough to get fooled by that. Okay. <laughs> I'll say I welcome everyone who's tuning in. Uh, hope you're having fun and uh, yeah, it's really just a start. I can't wait to even get you know to the skies and even that cave below, the whirlwind. Nope. <laughs> Batter up. Again? <laughs> no more boomerang funnies. Yep. They always throw their weapons when they're at low health. They won't do it otherwise. There's a different health th threshold for every tier of lizard. Oh, not me though. And once you pass that threshold, they can start throwing their weapons. I wish I knew it was a boomerang sooner. <laughs> Just the wall. Favorite dungeon in the game's gotta be uh, easily Fire Temple. Just so cool, the build up and everything. And I love just minecarts a lot. Um, but this one's awesome for the atmosphere because I like this one because the whole archipelago feels like the dungeon. Oh, what are you doing? Come to me, my fishy. Yeah. Me? <laughs> oh, them. <laughs> if you're looking to catch some fish, this is the best spot. I see two fish. <laughs> well, I guess better than zero in the muck. <laughs> These set their standards low. But yay. Come here. Ah. Fish eat other fish. Food chain. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Not quite. Still too slow. 
need to get more of these armor pieces. <laughs> so we can speed up. Oh, but pretty. Oh my god, I love that. It's all mucked up. Wow. Solve the shrine quest. Riddle-tastic. <gasps> it's him! <laughs> Sidon! My best friend! Adventures! <laughs> yes! Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> it's good to see you, my friend. Yes. <gasps> Our best friend's back. Oh my god. <laughs> the upheaval is gonna be no match now. What could have transpired? No. Yep. <laughs> but it's okay. We will love his assistance. <laughs> We're gonna be dual wielding these light skill tridents at some point. <laughs> I miss when Sidon dual wielded weapons in uh, Age of Calamity. But it's okay, more proficient with one. This place is a source of water. It's beautiful. A future king. Would do no less. Well, if he's gonna be king, I'll be the knight. Zora Knight. Yeah. Okay. Speak with our historian, Giotto. Continue his investigation at Total Lake. We can do that. But, you know what I'd like to do first? <laughs> be more Zora-like. And we can do that, can't we? It's not very clear at the moment. But, <laughs> that island will hold a pretty big secret. Oh, wait, can we make it there? One could hope. Whoa. Falling rock. Hmm. There'll be a backup. <laughs> Let's try making it. Yes. <laughs> Such a nice ascent. Fishy island. Ooh. Okay. It's a bit mucked up, but, uh, you know, using future vision comes in handy. Not quite there. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. As a fish, you just got to know things. <laughs> it's like survival instinct. And I know that. Uh... I know that. This is helpful. And what do you know? <laughs> Why not unearth a mystery early? Four? The proper helmet! <laughs> we can now do the spin attack while swimming. Which... Better to have it now than never. Or later. We'll, we'll get it eventually. Um, <gasps> but look at that! Proper fish head, it pairs very well with the weapons. <laughs> and this will be our Zora aesthetic for a while, honestly. Because sadly, the pants are locked behind completing the dungeon itself. Just like how it was in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I'm not sure why both games are like that. <laughs> no pants until he helped them out. They don't believe in pants. It's, it's like our motivation to get through this. Uh. <laughs> You will get the pants, only if you help. Huh. There we go. This still works, though. This is the one case where I missed the, uh, 
the Breath of the Wild version because Link's like underwear in that game would be blue and it actually matched really well with the Zora armor. So it looked like a Zora aesthetic, but we're just rocking the brown right now. Rocking that and the Rito paraglider until after the dungeon where we can get both updated. So yeah. Okay, now let's talk to our other guy friend thing. Fishy, whatever you are. Oh, you got an opal rod. Yeah, a little special, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Especially damaging. It's okay. How about you clear this muck for me? Oh, don't break my shield, please. Hit me with the weapon. Oh, his spit can unmuck the muck. <laughs> Makes sense. It is a, uh, it is water. Well, those aren't helping. Oh, nice. <gasps> so we can. Don't break my shield, though. <laughs> water. Ah. Oh, come on. <laughs> There we go, back at him. Um, just so we don't get nuked here. Yeah, this one meat is good. Come on, one more. Clean it up a little bit, why don't you? <laughs> Much prefer it this way. They only do like a couple damage. Fine. I can't use the weapon though because it's not a Zora one. Right? <laughs> but it looks cool. Ah. You know what? I'll take one hit for you. Just let's even out the score. Okay. Now he needs to die though. Okay. Water. Bye-bye. <laughs> At least you can take advantage of that. They all spit the thing that makes us stronger. Way to scale ourselves up. <laughs> Get it? Uh, talk to Giaru. Okay, it just doesn't give us a pen. Because we can find it ourselves. Um, you can get the pants before the dungeon Breath of the Wild, you thought? Uh, I'm pretty sure the quest for it doesn't unlock until afterwards. I'm like 99% sure, right? Because like, yeah, like you can take a picture of Lionel before, but I believe the quest doesn't even open up until after the beast is done. Also, thank you, General Links, for the tier one sub for 20 months. Almost a year now. Well, thank you. I'll see, yeah, for the helm earlier, it took you three hours. It makes sense. I was having a hard time. Because for the riddle, you're supposed to step on, like, all, like, the side stones and, like, look at the sides of the thing. Which, there's no more muck on it, so it'd be easier. But, yeah. You would have to take all the odd angles. I remember watching my brother try to find it, and he just... <laughs> yeah. Almost anyone that I watched tried to do that part. It was hard. So I, I don't blame you. Oh, no, you can get the pants before the Divi Divine Beast and Breath of the Wild? Really? I would have done that in the run then. But I don't remember that quest opening up until afterwards. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... Hmm. One day I'll have to go back because I genuinely thought so. Because we would have done that in the challenge run then. Hmm. Well, who knows? Because, <laughs> yeah, we didn't rock the full Zora aesthetic until after the beast. For that reason. 
I'm still just doing that because I like the way the underwear looked with it because it's blue and it matched. I don't know. Hmm. Here we have the Gardam ruins. What opening? Okay. Completely transfixed by the ruins. There's water everywhere. You guys is, you guys can use this too to clean up the muck. <laughs> it's just growing everywhere. Ancient stone slate. Stand upon the land of the skyfish. A droplet, the watery bridge. What do we need a picture of again? Hmm. Slate is broken. Wasn't it like nearby? Alright, this is the area where we found the Azor Helm in Breath of the Wild. And now we just have it. Yeah. Oh wait, is it just this thing right here? Looks pretty slatey to me. Oh, <laughs> right. I take a picture and he, he can just have the real thing. <laughs> Bonk. <gasps> you think of the challenge, I didn't have the camera yet and I had to recall the line off to our blood moon. Okay, so I guess you can get the Zora pants afterwards. I'm corrected then, thank you. Um, I genuinely thought it's one of those quests where you couldn't, but in this game you can't get it until after the dungeon, right? I'm gonna like fully make sure just to be sure, but I am yeah, pretty sure. Okay, I generally didn't know that. Maybe I would have done it differently then. Because like s most regional quests are just unlocked afterwards. Okay. Sh shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task, you should receive the most wondrous thing. We can do that. <laughs> okay. We have to meet with the king, which. Finally, because <laughs> we need something from him. Rose to the sky. Yeah, the Zora Greaves in this game you can't get um, until the water works clear, which I'm pretty sure isn't done until after the dungeon. Yeah, you can only get the Greaves after talking to Yono after the Water Temple. That's that's what I remembered, so that's what I was planning on it. Mm. Okay. Yay, me. Um... Suggest so speaking with King Dorfin about the mask. Matt Mark. <laughs> well, you could ask around to know where he is, but we know that. <laughs> King, we're coming. Also, you're coming from YouTube. You decided to watch me one day. Helped you so much with Breath of the Wild and Tears. Good luck on the run. Thank you. Glad you could make it here. Um, no, it's always fun starting a new adventure. So, um, yeah, between this and. I guess just learning more about the game and using that info in runs is always fun. So, I like that. <laughs> also, that's not mud, it's chocolate. Yeah, just chocolate pools on the ground. Willy Wonka 4. Mm. Good thing we know exactly where we're going. Is it through this waterfall or? <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Next one down. Oh! <laughs> it's okay. A little bumpy. Have to go through the bottom so you can make it. I have faster swim now. We can swim past that easier. Or 
Just not at all, I guess. There we go. This ends cool now, but... I like using Ascend before it was cool. Water Ascend. Now improved. Hello. You're gonna complain at me again? Cruel ploy are you plotting? Just assuming the worst. Too negative. There we go. Dorfin. Yeah, Moos is just like the Squidward of the Zelda universe. Just always, always a pain. Pessimistic. Huh? Yeah, look at him. <laughs> Painful. Yep, they saw they saw Zelda. That's why they had a had the Blood Moon cutscene early, so the context would make a bit more sense. Okay. I will skim this. There we go. Wow, look at that! Encountered Zelda. Floating Islands appeared. Fragments ruined. Muzu left to investigate an eye, and that's when it happened, and then Sludge Monster. Yep. And Zelda unleashed a Sludge Monster. That guy won't be good. So, that'll be our next threat. And then Zelda disappeared. Yeah, it ain't the good Zelda. So that's why we saw that Blood Moon cutscene before. Makes sense. And yeah, we'll be getting the Mifa Spear once we have the diamonds, which we have one. We're gonna hope to get lucky with the rest. Any progress has been made. <laughs> well, he's spoken with Giotto. Hmm. So, we're gonna need the Mark of a King. And this will be super handy. Take a few. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. There we go. <laughs> Not just a King scale, but it's also a nice water attachment. Which pairs very well with, you know, Zora stuff. Which, yeah, we'll do it. Okay. Well, in order to do that. I don't think anything else is important here. <laughs> Just a nice, pleasant dive. Oh, we didn't catch the water. <laughs> now we did. Where does this lead? I didn't see an exit anywhere. Oh, I missed it. That's why. <laughs> What? <laughs> we literally went up here too, it's so well hidden. Yeah, it just looks like two normal rocks. Like, that looks all natural to me. <laughs> Hop across there. Oh, and that's where the deception starts. thing about this uh scale that we got you'll need it for the quest but uh attach it to that Zora sword and since it's a water thing it just always gives it the buff so wait we're currently still wet so everything else well Goop. You know, so it doesn't give it water spraying properties, sadly. But 
you notice we're not wanted anymore, but the weapon is. So, <laughs> sure, it's kind of weak, but it's just cool that it is a thing, you know? We can get infinity of these, as long as we run out. <laughs> See, it's, it's cool to have a part of the scale part of us. More Zora-like. Oh. That's a Zora armor. Help me in my search for Zelda. Yes. Thought I was attacked by a monster. Oh. The land of the skyfish. Oh, he's gotta thread one of these scales through the land. Well, good thing that's not a problem. <laughs> Guess we're going back. So I love how there's like a balloon there, if you just want to take a balloon. I guess if you're doing a Zora armorless playthrough, yeah, technically I think it's possible to do it if you just don't get the armor. Well, that's not necessary. Okay. <laughs> Is it possible to get more king scales than the five we get? Um, only if we run all the five, we can get more. Just five more. So you can never be above that mark. Unless there is a way to kind of break it. Like, can you put them on weapons, and then if you run your inventory, you can get five more and then break apart all those weapons to hoard more? I guess you could, if you're really just trying to push the limit. Yeah, so possibly it is possible to hold more, but I'm not too sure. So all these loose fragments. But one forms a tear. Well... <laughs> Rest up. Just like that. <laughs> Tear of the Kingdom. Oh, that doesn't count? Wait, no, I had it. Get back! How do you... What? <gasps> I thought we could thread it through. No? Do we... Do we have to use a bow? Hmm. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Hmm. Okay. Um. Ah. <laughs> uh, well. The thing is about bows, um, we can get them from like likes, of course, but in terms of other bows just laying around the region, there is only one bow in the entire game. Unless you get lucky with the like like, that's it. Um, so maybe we should get that bow. It's it's not very generous, but if we need it, we need it, and we can find it by taking. The normal Zora route. The main one from Breath of the Wild. So, shouldn't be a problem. <gasps> okay. Sometimes it just swims like that. That's just the flow of it. Okay. <laughs> Time to get the one Zora bow. <laughs> it's our mission. Just a little night op Zora stealth. Okay. You know, this K 
it was here before. I just want this. Only because <laughs> that can be helpful. We're saving up for a big thing. <laughs> Still just a Bacoblin cave. You guys haven't left since Breath of the Wild. swim faster <laughs> but <gasps> the currents are strong super fish power doesn't unlock until we have the pants okay <laughs> stealthy also hey Erica welcome <laughs> We're just on a bow recovery mission. No, <laughs> not that bow. What's this? Water based? Uh, not that bow either. <laughs> a meat please though. <laughs> just one? No. Ugh. This is dangerous just for some food. Very dangerous. Give me the food. Oh. I might be food next. It's okay. Fast swim. Yes. I will be food. There we go. No, I'm not. Yeah, friend. Miss me? <laughs> I'm sure you did. <laughs> oh, the splash! <gasps> oh, wait. It uses a scale, too. <laughs> I might have souped up its importance a bit in my mind. But it gives it a nice splash. I thought it'll last longer. Um, oh, we didn't get the shrine in there. It's like mildly helpful, but oh. Oh, the normal Zora route. One thirty five and we we'll take this again. Okay. We're doing okay, to say the least. Just just okay though. Like not not fabulous or anything. Um I'm just making sure I'm going to the right place. I am. Um and I can pull that up really quick too, because it is like close ish. Um one second. I'm trying to pull up my thing first. Apologies. There we go. Yeah, so this path has like like caves, enemy, bow chest, some other stuff. And we can also get this stuff too. So all good for the run. The map's in the Discord if you want to look at it longer, because I just was very brief. Just kind of showing a bit of what's there. Oh wait, yeah, we can still climb. Ow, no we can't. That far? He's stubborn. So the scales are single use like Gibdo bones? I guess so. I never use them, so. It's another cave entrance. Yay, money. Oh, wow. <laughs> Old familiar bridge.
Yeah. Now taken over by a uh, Korok. <laughs> and a lot of muck. Korok muck. Well, it's the classic route. Oh, I don't miss you guys. <laughs> I, I really didn't. <laughs> Not at all. But I'll take that. Silly little things. That's uh, fine. <laughs> I'm not a baby in the muck. I don't need medical attention. This door is built different. Yeah. Ooh, and here. I'm fortunate that this muck doesn't go up my gills like the others. This way. <laughs> icky, icky. <laughs> Don't go my gills. Ooh. It's basically like the Zora out from uh, Breath of the Wild, but without, without all the uh, Octo platforms. Thanks. That's just because I want you to die. No patience to loot. Hi. Well, all the way, all the way there. <laughs> close guy was scared. We're being so close. Oh, that got him. Nice. <laughs> I'll take that. The sniper octo. Thank you. <laughs> Without the hood, you thought it was Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Literally, it's like. Besides the sword, and I guess the underpants, it's. And I guess the muck. You know, most things still. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Yeah, and all the master mode platforms here. Oh. What? Is there anything past this waterfall? That's not a good way of doing it. Probably not. Just more water. Oh, literally nothing. Just a wall instantly. Can I take some files? I mean, sure. Mm -hmm. You already get fleet lotus seeds here, which are much easier to get than also potent speed food. Oh, that was it. Oh. Good thing the rocks are still here. The bloopy. <laughs> Points to good things. Water. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Much better than splash fruits. More water. Hmm. Oh. That was easy to mess. <gasps> Another like. Do you like rocks? Do you just want to eat it? What all tasty it'll be. Oh, okay. Fine. That was pretty delicious, too. You just need to be hit. Past the bubble. Um... I, I guess? <laughs> okay. We need fusions. Uh, Zora shield? Okay. I mean, that's good. But... <laughs> Getting like all shields from these guys. 
wonder why I have none of uh, anything else. <laughs> mm. Oh, we can make another spear. Okay. Spear two. Oh! Thank you, armor points. <laughs> so you spear while it's damaged. Or they both are. <laughs> no monkey business. A pretty neat cave. This because it's silly. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty soon I would uh, would love to eat some food. Well, I guess the sword will be our rock breaker. Okay. Ball sword. It's a mace. Yeah. Not a good mace. Oh, yeah. Opals. Okay. We haven't used any yet, but it'll come in handy very soon. Okay. And banana gems! <gasps> okay, but the diamonds uh, we'll need for light skill trident later. We're gonna need three in total. And. Yep, we have two, because the first one we got from the uh, Royal Hidden Passage. Just at the start of the game. We always get that one, because it's so good. Of making it easy. Okay. <laughs> and I think there's like five different drops. I think they're an equal drop chance. Okay. One of five different things. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't need a new one of that. Yeah. A bow would be cool, but there still is just one guaranteed bow. And that's what we're after. It would just be nice to get one, you know, from these guys too. To have more than one. Why not? Is that another entrance? These caves are so cool. I just love exploring them. Oh, day mission now. Oh, wow. Literally in a... Yeah, this was a sniper tower that Elizals was on, wasn't it? You know, yeah, there used to be a whole bunch of shock Lizolfos here. Well, Lizolfos with shock arrows, rather. And there were like puddles everywhere and it was raining, so it would just be literally a death valley. So yeah, some of these areas have been calmed down quite a bit. <laughs> In this case, I'm fine with that though. Um, anyways, yeah, we got both like-likes. There is another thing nearby that I like. I should save, kill it, and if it doesn't drop, reload. That I might do that later, honestly, as a last ditch. Hello. Oh, that's a tough one. I can use that horn, though. That's his fault. We don't have our perk yet. Nope. It's not perfect unless we have the perfect combo. No, it's perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Sort. So lower durability ones to the right. Oh my god. Taking on a black lizard like it's nothing. <gasps> the power is strong. Oh my god. 
I love challenge zones where I can be overpowered in a way. In damage, at least. <laughs> We still have the endurance of a fish, which is not very enduring. <laughs> What's this? Nothing. Oh, yeah, the wells, though. <laughs> this is a Korok puzzle in Breath of the Wild. So what is it now? A froggy sanctuary. Please cut the... Uh, not a sanctuary any longer. Oh yeah, this cooking guy. Not a bad thing. Okay, we kind of need the health. Um, you just one at a time because we're low hearts. There we go. For low heart runs is the best way. Just a single, a plop. <laughs> Thank you, backpack bacoblins. And you know what? A bit of fancy meals. <laughs> Fish eat eggs. They do now. I guess they always did. Um, you know, just for fun. Hmm. We did get some speed stuff. Let's see. A level one speed buff is 10%. Level 2 is 20, level 3 is 30. It is fun to go for potency. I want to see how much potency I need for level 3. I kind of forgot off the top of my mind. Um, I just know these are the two potency ones along with the uh, Swift Violets. Um, one second. I'm going to pull that up on screen. The document's in light mode, so it's going to be a bit of a flashbang. I had this in my Discord server too, in the... Uh, Breath of the Wild resources tab. Um, boop. Okay. So I think it's minus the 30 seconds rule. Um, okay, let me look. Because, yeah, all this stuff applies to tiers too. So I'm just using a Breath of the Wild document, but I believe none of that changed. Um, so every speed up ingredient increases the effect by a minute. Um, I don't know what I'm looking. I'm sorry. One second. <laughs> Speed up. There we go. All this stuff. Or, yeah. So yeah, Fleet Lotus Seeds and Swift Violets are the level 2. Rushroom Swift Carrots are the level 1. Um, how many points do we need for a level 3 effect? I think it's 6. Or it is 7. Okay. So just like attack and defense. Um, so 7 points are needed for that. 5 for a level 2, so we might as well just go for the... Uh, Level three. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we need seven potency points for a level three effect. Each of these things are two potency. This and that. We don't have any of the lower potency stuff. Um. So you know what? We can do at least one. Steam fruit. <laughs> Wait. Wait. What did I what did I do? What did I throw in there? A nightshade? <laughs> no, I meant the other bundled flower. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> I've ever tried orange juice after brushing my teeth. Um, that's usually what I have the morning with. I think it's, it has a nice complimenting flavor, you know, a contrast. Uh, it's more of an exquisite palette. So once you get those taste buds up, you'll eventually know why it's a good feeling. You know, um, another one, another good combo, milk and sushi, super good, phenomenal. Um, I like that one too. And I was only being ironic about one of those. Try to guess. 
Wait a second. <laughs> it's like he knew we needed to be here. That's good. Because with the lizard thing... Yeah, because with the lizard, which is a speed buff, um, just the one potency, though, we can mix it with three of these, and this time with the monster part, which will be really good for duration, because elixirs are way better for duration. But since we have a bug, we can use a monster part, and I am going to use a gut, because that gives the most. And it's got a critical. <laughs> For time! 12 minute 30 speed up buff. It added another 5 minutes. And what are we supposed to? <gasps> oh. Wow. <laughs> I would save. I'm not overriding that save. So. This is the challenge run save. We load here at the start of every run. So. Okay. Um. Well, I can't do another elixir, but um, we still have enough for a level 3 effect. Plop that all in. And, okay, <laughs> that's what it would have been without, so with the critical and potion stuff, much more potent. Or much more timely. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, that's just because I have the stuff. And there's a lot of lotus seeds in the near uh, Zora area. Have we gotten the Divine Beast yet? Um, I don't know if we're going to get the Divine Beast in this run, honestly. Um, but if you went to Temple... Uh, no, we haven't. I'm sorry. I, every single run, I still do that too. I'm like, okay, the Divine Beast is coming. Wait a second. It's not a Divine Beast. <laughs> But no, um, that's going to take some work. Oh, hello. Oh, how did I, can I parry it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a spear. Ooh, very bad range. Why am I doing this still? Okay, God. <laughs> we persisted. Fire it up. <laughs> Ignited. Oh. <laughs> he has to slam down. Stop looking up. Fine. You want to look up so bad, don't you? That's what you got to do. That's your life. Oh. And mine is on top of... What? What is going on? <laughs> get, get this tentacle. Okay. All right. No, no water buff. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Throw buff. Double damage still. Oh, arrows? Doesn't mean we get a bow? No! <laughs> it's just tormenting me. What a tease. Well. <laughs> um. One second. Okay. Yeah, we're going the right way. <laughs> That's fine because. <laughs> We'll be able to get the one up ahead. There's a lot of spears now. Just give me a moment. <laughs> okay, moment passed. Bye bye moment. There we go. Happy? You better be. No challenge, no threat. I'll take a slight attack up. Just in our cooking days right now. How can a fish cook? Fishing is very scaly. Scary. Because fire and fish. So. There's a cave here. <laughs> Where's 
the cave? Oh, there's a cave. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't remember this one. Oh, it's setting up an ascent thing. <laughs> we did this before with ice. It's like, here's the tools needed. Always a little hint of sorts. Open the grate. <laughs> Just grate. Hello. A Zora thing could have been nice. <laughs> it is a Zora area. I like how it gives me the Thor prompt too. It's like, we know you didn't need this weapon. Oh no, I used it. I failed the run. <laughs> and bubble. I think that's like the whole cave, honestly. Just about. Okay. But. Well, there's a reason for this area. No, not here. Well, it's a little ledge. This cave wasn't useless. There was another ascend theme going on. Because. Well. Makes it to almost the top. Which was almost the goal. Is there another cave here? <laughs> Guess we still have a bit to go, don't we? Um, that's too high for sure. It sure is. Is there an easy way to get to that? Look for a falling rock or something? Uh, well, I guess there's platforms leading... Since when were these platforms here leading up to this? I didn't actually know that. I think they added it for Breath of, or Tears of the Kingdom. Well, I'd like to get on top there because there is a little something. You know, there's just some more weapons up there, which we're already going to get some more weapons, so. I'm going to actually try to get the weapons that are important, like bows. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do the like likes not drop bows? I think they drop bows. Yeah, they drop bows, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, of course they do. Because otherwise, then it would not be respondable. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just a little <laughs> not potent enough. Okay. Well, drop down. It's where I needed to be was just past the bridge. We have almost all the weapon types. But. <laughs> The only normally occurring. <laughs> well, oh, the final one is here. The Zora bow. <laughs> Literally, it's the only bow chest or bow spawn in the game. The only other ones can be found through the like likes. I don't know why they don't have more. I, I don't know why there's no more. Um, test it out. <laughs> it's nice. It looks, it looks very cool too. Matching all the silver aesthetic. But we're gonna need this for the, for the, the dungeon. Um. Ow. No. Is this the path or am I? Oh, the path's like destroyed, isn't it? Oh yeah, the path is destroyed. I was about to say there was one. Um, 
I'm still going to take it because there's just a couple more weapons I can use. Because we're going to have to use all these weapons to clear out the whole archipelago. And there's going to be a lot of constructs, so. We'll get good loot from that, though. We have to fully free the domain. Sidon doesn't need that burden, so. Also, just to show them up. More vials and whatnot. Rocket. Hey. I, I might actually take this for later. <laughs> Low gravity and rockets mix well. <laughs> We'll just swap out of it, though. It's okay. I believe in you. I will believe in you if you work. I don't think I saw this area before. Okay, it's really... Nice. <laughs> We're just taking a bath together. Wait. How important is it? Not okay. <laughs> wait, there's a wait. There's some things around here. I always have to be guarding something. Is it a good something or a uh, something for the sake of something? Ow! First. Okay. <laughs> I'll take another. Now we're only missing one small thing now. Um. Exactly. It's somewhere around here. Oh, yeah. Aha. Like I like. Also, never mind. The... Yep, the path was like bouldered in there. But it still exists. Okay. For him. Okay, what's our... Hmm. Hammering agenda. No. Oh! Haha! -ha. <laughs> the angle is bad. Haha <laughs> -ha to me. Alright, give it up to d double digits now. <sighs> That's always just a grand time. <laughs> yeah, a little mud bath. Oh yeah, also if I, imagine if I could swim with those tiny waterfalls, like the little streams. Probably be able to swim with rain too. <laughs> Wonder where you would end up in the sky, just all the clouds. Suppose so. <laughs> It would be silly. Also, no croc. Not important. Yeah, little streams. It's okay. I just like swim out things. Oh, wait. Do the streams not make me... No. At least my glider was blocking it. Wait. Let's not glider through it. Oh, they don't give you wetness. <laughs> Attention to detail lost. Immersion broken. Only spears. Okay. Um, doesn't matter the damage of it. Just here, just do a little, little rock shield. Because we don't need the. Yeah. <laughs> that does the trick too. Oh, he's going to do it again. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Be easy. Go, go, go. Yeah. Imagine if we got another bow. Come on, the arrows are our T's. So? So? Sword? <laughs> um. 
Yeah. Okay. Almost maxed on weapons, which will be good. <laughs> um, attachments? Mm. Wait, I'm just gonna start by damage. We have that Lizalfo's horn. Hmm. I was like, didn't I have a blue Lizalfo's tail? I did, then I died. Okay. <laughs> Good to remember. Hmm. This keeps the curvature pretty well. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> nice Zora cutter. It's like a fin of a different fish. <laughs> Amphibious fish. Amphibi fish. Yeah. I'll take that. It's like an evil shark fang fin. Oh, this path is closed too. <laughs> another area where there's like another camp. Used to be kind of like a stealth shock alley. Oh, but they kept the end of the camp. Kind of. Not wasting arrow. <laughs> Might be rarer than I thought. Oh. Fishy. I'll take that. New cave. Oh. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna do that first. <laughs> no, thanks. In the water. Here. Cave Defender, I have a gift. Whew. It'll be a good gift. Um, saving that one. There we go. <laughs> Single combo. <laughs> that attachment is just good. It sure is. It wants me to boat. Oh, I'm not even trying to shrine. <laughs> It's okay, it's a good way forward. And up. <laughs> yeah, what gives? I don't want a shrine. Shrine lame. This is a bad hovercraft. Why'd why I even do that? I, I don't know. Here. I'll make up for my dumb deed. Apple. Oh. I guess just for a silly little warp. Perfect. I understand weight and balance. Exceptionally, too. I want more? Sure, we'll just... <laughs> blowing onto us. There we go. Who needs fishing? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> we have a fin. A glowing fin. So you can uh, <laughs> get your nice looting done too. Oh, rocket. Yoink. Bye bye. Is there any more rockets? Nah, nothing to propel. Hello. Well, gems would be cool. Not bubble gems. Gem gems. Oh, that was nothing. <laughs> that. Woohoo! It looks like, ah! <laughs> His little fish face, like, woohoo! Like a true fish. Plop. Bubbles. How many bomb flowers do I have? Enough. Enough. 
I thought I'd need a billion of them. Okay. That's the wrong way. <laughs> I just can't wait to have sight on. I need like an adventuring buddy, but I just want to kind of just, you know, even out my chaoticness a bit. I just kind of do strategies sometimes. They're strategies by name only. Not always good ones. Okay. Opal! <laughs> the only one, but the only one needed. Here, you can take the whole boat, actually. I don't really need the shrine, I just kind of wanted to... <laughs> Might as well, they're coming with. It's like if Quark really needs a ride, I'll give him a bumpy ride somewhere. It won't be pleasant, though. Boop. <laughs> there you go. Cool. 500 hours in, I still don't understand the physics engine. What? How could I? It's more fun to only have a subtle understanding. Because then just more chaotic things happen. <laughs> That's me being optimistic about my misfortune. That I put on myself. It's okay. Physics. Uh, knowing that you can't get the grease for the temple. You know what? Yeah. At least the Breath of the Wild one, we could have the, uh, the blue underwear that actually matched really well with the uh, whole aesthetic. But now I'm rocking the brown ones, so. Link didn't get the memo for this. Wait, that, that leads all the way here? Oh, I guess that's an alternate way to the tower, too. If you went up this path to go here, you can take that. I'm pretty sure there's another entrance to that here, too. Wait a second. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just think so. Okay. Not too important. Alternate way in. As a society, we move past the need for physics. Just be silly. Uh, some nightshade just to look fancy. Little lanterns, you know? Those are cool. Well. Guess we have the bow now. So we could go there. But. Well, we have one more weapon slot. I know exactly where to fill it. It's actually a mildly special one. Special for like one odd reason. Mm, it's going to be somewhere here. Yeah. I know where I'm going now. Okay. Just down this cliffside a bit. Follow the muck. <laughs> and yep. Right by these lizzles. Or rather, the rock. Because? Zora Longsword. It's special only because it's the only loose Zora weapon in the entire game, actually. Every other weapon's either in a chest or on an enemy. But, yeah, that one was part of a camp, but it's the only one that's just loosely there without an enemy holding it. So, yeah. Literally, usually there's tons of loose weapons for every race, but that's the only one out of all the Zora. So, it's different and cool. But I digress. We can use these weapons now to take on our first real big threats and eventually clear out the waterworks 
in Wall Spring Island. Ooh. Also, thank you, Epointer, for the 100 bits. Uh, what if I died the full set when I get the Greaves dark red to do the Mifa look? I I mean, alongside Sidon, that could be cool. I loosely thought about it. I'm just... It's, it's like a maybe. It's like I rarely change the color to change the aesthetic. So I don't know. Because if I got the Mifa Meeple Glider, I could. Hmm. That's not an awful idea. I, oh, it's, it'll be a Zora aesthetic enough, because... I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to think about that one. We won't get to the finale for... Well, definitely not today. Probably not tomorrow either, so... I would just save it for the end if I did, so... That is, that is cool, though. You know, it's like, that's a cool thought. Usually I only do things that I think of going into a run, though. So I don't know. Okay. Well. <laughs> before. Yeah. Before we face stuff. I think setting up our fusions will be really nice. Love to do another... <laughs> Fancy sword. That's nice. Ooh. Um, spear attachments. We. Mm. We could do a long spear of sorts. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a Zora stick. But if you look good in almost anything. Oh, <laughs> right in my face. <laughs> These ones we can save for construct parts once we get up the uh, the archipelago. And this one, yeah. And same for this one too, because yeah, we'll have options later. But our starting options right now are rather good. We have a really good sword. Oops. Yeah, I can't sword anymore. Okay. Really good sword. Really good spear. Well, two of them. One of them's almost damaged. And one of these. <laughs> so at least one really good of each weapon type. Some more for spares. Utility ones. And... Shield. Single bow, but we'll have to make it work. Okay, side on. Let's side do this. Oh, wait. Yep. <laughs> After we do that. I almost forgot we were here. <laughs> the Zora Longsword isn't the only one. There's one in the fenced monster camp east of Mifa Court. Really? Remember if I check really quick? I didn't get to fully check everything. Wait, the fenced meat. Um, here. Because I'm pretty sure that was a chest one, or a monster one at least. Here, let's pull this up. Let's do Zora weapon. Oh, we got to turn off the depth stuff. Sky and surface. A treasure chest. Boss Pacoblin. Boss Pacoblin. Zona. Oh, that's it's going to show some sky stuff. I don't see any. Treasure chest. Treasure chest. Ignore some of the sky stuff because it is it has Zora in the name. I don't know how to get I don't know what to type in to ignore some of the Zora enemies. When I was making the map, I didn't see anything else besides that one. Um see it'll just say Zora Longsword if it's just by itself. So that it's part of an enemy. That's part of an enemy. That's on a chest. That's in a chest. Hmm. 
Found the one I told you about? Um, no, I don't see any more. Sorry. <laughs> Wait. Well, sorry, I'll think of it later from just brain bleh, right now, but. Okay. Because the only loose one I know about is the uh, one right there. Because that's what I put on my map when I made it the other day. Oops. I'll pull that up again. It's in my Discord server. Uh, but here. So loose one. I usually have the green dot representing loose and beep. Just right there. It's technically part of a monster camp, but it's they're not holding it, so it's loose. Either way, those and the enemy ones respawn. The chests don't. But like likes can drop anything, so. How nice. Mm -hmm. They're referring to one hold by an enemy, okay. Yeah, I'm not counting, I just somewhat separately, I don't know. That's how I always do the maps, because it's like the loose ones are very easy to get. Enemy ones, unless you have shock, can be harder, so. All right, and then loose steps ones, which obviously. Well. A beautiful day to do this. <laughs> I'm going to sort through everything. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> All right. Thread the scale through. Perfect. <laughs> Looks stunning, too. <laughs> yeah, it had to be an arrow. So the cutscene made sense, I guess. And yeah, naturally it has more flight because it's a wing attachment. That's what wings do. Okay. Talk to Sidon. Now we can be ready. Give me to have that glider low. That'll be so cool. Again, it's gotta be after the dungeon now. Before we go, I am going to uh, use the restroom really quick. So we are back. It's, we've been going for three and a half hours. Uh, so it's been about three hours of consistent Zora running. First half hour was kind of prepping. Mm. We'll be okay. So be right back. And yeah, that was a really good puzzle. I agree. I don't know. It's like cool just having things line up. Yeah, it's just unique, you know. So ooh, I... <laughs> I was sitting funny, my knee hurts one second. Ow. <laughs> I had a bent. Okay. Um, restroom break. Honor of the Zora run, I'm going to have the guppy fish watch the stream. Because fish theme. So, thank you. Be right back. Give me like a minute or two, please. Thank you.
Hi, I'm back. <laughs> Thank you, Guppy Fish. Whoa. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I like messed up my knee when I stood up. I don't know why. It's hurting less now, but <laughs> funny, very funny. Um, okay, but this is where the true action begins, or just a lot more of it, at least. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm like skimming chat. Yes. Okay. But no, I like the puzzles in this game. D different from Breath of the Wild, uh, there's a lot less like riddles, I would say. Like Breath of the Wild had a lot of cool riddles, especially with Cass. But um, I don't know. Like that one was pretty cool, and uh, the one where you have to like connect the shadows to get like the awakening set, that was cool. And like the ice key one was pretty cool. We had to make like ice platforms like in certain shapes. All right. I will skim this, if that's okay. Side on is, oh. Aha. The muck monster. Sludge-like. Ambusher of the court. Well, we've been fighting sludge this whole entire time. It's up to you, milady. <laughs> so sophisticated. He's the only person who can say that and sound cool. <laughs> Go side on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Finally get a partner up, though. <laughs> we can get his water shield at last. Okay. <laughs> the power of water is now fully earned. <laughs> I mean, that is a cool one. Hmm. One second. But first, I kind of want to clear the arena. Okay. <laughs> no more sludge. They're just a purple like. Whoa. Hey, come on, no. I worked hard for this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is for not giving me a bow. No! <laughs> the water's right there. <laughs> that's, that's a shame. <laughs> Honestly. What? Give me a better save. <laughs> we just worked through 80 lines of dialogue. Yeah, I was trying to use Sidon's Blast to just get more range. I know a slow is gone. It's for the range attacks. Tears of the cutscene. Okay. Just don't die instantly this time, please. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Safely. No, as I was trying, side, side on. You got this. Both determined together. Right. Give a little slash. Perfect. <laughs> now, how much damage can we get out of this? <laughs> With our water? A lot of damage. Side on go! Oh. 
<laughs> that was actually almost perfect. <laughs> Too perfect. I'm gonna try to eat. Oh. He's just regurgitating. Keep in your food. Wait, what if you eat me with the shield? Can you? He's not trying to. In case things go south. Yeah, even with the shield. Nothing. <laughs> Power of water is very strong. Especially now. Oh. <laughs> Not when you mess. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> This guy's not very tentacool. Yeah. Get out of here. Side on? Finishing blow? You can do it. What? He did zero damage. That was his. Wait, what is he doing? I guess sludge enough. You just made it uncool. He just changed the vibe instantly. No. Sidon could have done that. In fact, he would have killed him if... <laughs> that was his practice spear, I guess. But that's fine. <laughs> yeah. See? Power of water, power of immunity. And the power of friendship. Yeah, Sidon. Please come with. I'm sure. <laughs> there we go. Mm. It's like begging your mom to hang out with your friends. Like, please, I want to go to the water temple with Link. Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Can't leave you alone. Mm. <sighs> with this hammer spear. Yeah. Now she's like, please do it. <laughs> it's sweet, though. Sidon just has a big heart. He don't want to leave anyone behind. But he gets friend time. Come now. Oof. Hey now. <laughs> Can't get lost in the past. He's moving to bigger and better things. Second time hero. So he can be a first rank king. Soon. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Leave <laughs> this place to you, my love. <laughs> Just everything he says and the way he says it. He's the one character I can always imagine his voice acting for like every line. <laughs> yeah! <gasps> one more heroic adventure. Blaze away. <laughs> My god. Well. We can do it. <laughs> My poor tormented Sidon. He was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing you as well. Whoa. Sweet guy. <laughs> Aww. The sun in the sky. Oh! Not find a chest. Is this the bow? <laughs> Come on, atone for your past. Oh. Well, that's just a slap. <laughs> Bad. Bad. Okay. Well, guess we're meeting Sidon over here. Finally, fully liberate the Zoro's domain. With Sidon versus the Calamity. Now it's the terror of the upheaval. Oh my god, it's such a cool 
a sense of. Leaf is watching proud. Indeed. Such a beautiful area. But this is it, isn't it? <laughs> the green light. <laughs> For us! <laughs> Woohoo! <gasps> fish diving. More water. <laughs> just a bit murky. <laughs> oh, just don't get hit by the muck in midair. Is that even possible? Now people get hit by, by those like sky island pieces, so you never know. Is it possible? Who knows? Oh, hi dragon. Oh, <laughs> hi dragon. This is that. <laughs> And his journey to sage status fully begins. <laughs> Gets to be a sage and a king later. How oh, fancy. But first, a hero. Once again. I have an idea. No. <laughs> Swimming. <laughs> Literally taking the loops in the reservoir. Just like Breath of the Wild. Like clockwork. Wow. We gotta make it to the depths of the ocean before the sky. It's just as I Fish thought. have to see it all. I, can see an entrance at the bottom of the lake. I know it's not an ocean, just... I'll make a path for you. <sighs> Dive in, please. Bear with me. He's still swimming around. <laughs> Little bullet bike. Why weren't we going that fast when I was defeating Ruda? It mean, wouldn't have been very helpful, just would have been cool. <laughs> Look at that. Wait, intercept! No! Oh no! Getting sucked on the toilet. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Washed away. That was a movie. Literally unstoppable in the water. And so will we be. <laughs> we can attack too. That's a cool weapon for this. I like that one a lot. Really anything works. That's kind of for later. That's like a heavy hitter. Hmm. I'm just like kind of accessing our weapons right now. It's like we have cool stuff. You know, we'll always get more. Okay. Hmm. Can this be a good? Can be a good. Ah. <laughs> We're now full. But, you know, we have to go back here technically uh, after the dungeon. To get the uh, Zora pants. Because this place will change. So maybe I'll need them then. Okay. Rocks. Gotta make this all float. Or. What happens if we don't rise the water early? Uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you, temporary stamina. This is like a curiosity. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Our own way. <laughs> Does it actually affect the tide here, or is it just for that first area? It's just for the first area. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see if that did anything. No. We can break. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Sewage out. We're not going up with that. Oh, now we are. Whee. <laughs> That's cool. Ah. Can't be a water temple area without constantly changing elevations. But in this game, it's all done in this first part. Ancient Zora Waterworks. This place is breathtaking. It's a whole just lost facility. Filtration plant for all of Hyrule's water. The lore goes deep. Angle this you, you you could angle up. <laughs> that would be nice. He's not feeling nice. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I'll just hope it landed. Oh, it's under it. It like rose with it too, but it's still sinking. Ooh. Or you know that that does a trick. <laughs> Gotta find them all now. <laughs> Flashbacks to Ocarina of Time, Water Temple Horrors. <laughs> this time we're just changing it once. <laughs> also, look at the rocks right there. They're just like... Bending. <laughs> and then you go back, and they're bending again. And then they're just bending some more. <laughs> and then you go back, and then they're bending some more. <laughs> back and forth. Like, okay. <laughs> The rocks are alive down here. <laughs> the lost rocks. They're magical. <laughs> it's not the only area that does that. There's like a bunch of rocks by like the uh, Hyrule Castle Light Road too. Before Ganon. Oh. I don't mind using this one up. <laughs> These rock weapons are gonna not be so good in the sky. Not many caves to break. Oh, so go. We could go up there. I don't know. I think it's like exploring sewers in Zelda games. Such a, like an ambient aesthetic. Oh, nice. Like the Twilight Princess one's really cool too. I just love this place so much. Oh. Is that safe? No. <laughs> Fine by me. <laughs> Was that really all we needed? I thought there'd be more things to hit. <laughs> we found the main unit. The music. This is just honestly awesome. <laughs> I can imagine all the workers here back in the day. Just, uh, you know, it's a lively, important place. Must have had the best water in all the eras. Okay. But it's just so awesome. What's that area? 
I guess we can swim to it. We swim 60% faster with uh, two pieces. 100% faster with all three. So it doubles our speed. Funniest bug you've seen in the game. Cooking simulator where a glass of olives never stopped pouring out olives. So after five hours, the floor was covered in olives. <laughs> Just the infinite spawning glitches. <laughs> that is funny. That reminds me of the, uh, that one glitch in Breath of the Wild where, um, I forgot how to do it, but you can, like, make a guardian keep dropping guardian parts, like, rapidly. It just keeps, like, spilling out of the bottom. Uh, and just, like, infinite, like, storm of guardian parts. What's that? Ah. Well, wait a second. Yeah, it's wet here. We can't get that chest. But. Oh my god. It might be harder than I thought. Or will it be? One, two, wait. Recuperate a little bit. One, two, three. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Wait a second. Just gotta plunge it out. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> The plowing mission fixed. Oh. And then... To stop the leak, have a little roof above it, and you can burn it. <laughs> and just a little longer, don't put out the fire. Perfection. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good enough. Oh. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Oh. <laughs> There's not too much I can do with zone A parts because we're not going to have a lot of capsules. But. <laughs> That's always cool. Yeah, I'm sure all these chests are, uh, things I can't get right away. But when we go back, we can. Okay. The green light. Let's take down a past era. <laughs> Right. <laughs> From the ground to the sky. <laughs> really just setting this all back into motion. Oh man. Wellspring Isle. <laughs> it's now springing with water. <laughs> Quite a lot. With all the muck falls too. Oh, we'll clean it up. Oh. A waterfall. <laughs> Indeed, Saddam. Oh. You just wouldn't believe it. <laughs> I just broke some rocks. You understand, yes. Breaking. To Azora, a waterfall is no different from a path. <laughs> These are just the roads we travel. 
Watery Bridge. I've got to scan my glasses in a second. Okay, that's better. Ah. Yes, side on. <laughs> Here. 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 <laughs> the best story segments. Oh. I wonder if they're gonna talk about Demon King Secret Stone later. I may never know. Okay. Even the prologue to the dungeon is way better than the dungeon itself. I like both. For like the story build up, like I, I don't know, the stuff with Sidon was so cool. And then the sage stuff are just like the other beasts. Uh, but oh man. This area is absolutely fantastic. So what are we waiting for? Gotta go with the prime weapon here. Or Go with the prime weapon here. Low gravity. And we're here. We just can't face the gravity of the situation. This place is absolutely stunning. And it's cool because this whole thing feels like the dungeon itself. Just one big open zone. It's beautiful. Oh, that's not. And there's water in the sky. It is the water works. Yeah. The muck things are so sad to see. Incredible. What is the place? <laughs> Low gravity fishing. Fly fishing. The source of the sludge. Oh no, I won't have his water power. <laughs> uh. Okay, fruits. <laughs> Your time to shine again. Or, or those, too. Wait. Get back. I think we're ready. Oh, wait. No, I see, uh... Muck. Taking you. There we go! <laughs> oh... Gonna be a lot of Zonai stuff that we can't have. Just everywhere in these dungeon segments. Yeah, you can just carry it though. The green part. Or, no, it doesn't break, okay. What if we put it into the muck? <laughs> it's in the muck then. Ooh, Construct Alley. <laughs> The first wing to clear out. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> okay. Get close. I dare you. Are we still have wetness? Cool. Okay. Not the rocks flying through the air. <laughs> All those meals I cooked up aren't here. I just realized <laughs> when we reloaded the save. Damn it. Raw oh, meat. <laughs> okay. What if we just do that? <gasps> bullet time? <laughs> it takes up like no stamina for the bullet time. There we go. Mm 
You're gonna come close? Nope. Yep. <laughs> like, no stamina cost. Because, yeah, low gravity will do that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Get splashed. Extend that water. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Another thing about this bow is that the arrows are lower gravity than other bows. It's just like a low gravity bow, which it's like only one of two bows in the game that's like that. Uh, which is ironic considering that the skies above um, Zoro's domain also are low gravity. So yeah, the arrows just don't drop off as fast. Or they drop off slower, rather. Yeah, super unique quirk. <laughs> but in close range, you hardly notice the difference. And the natural low gravity also has an effect, too. Oh. He just missed somehow. I'll take it, but... Interesting. <laughs> I will take that. Thank you. Full restores are nice, always. Hmm. Yeah, and the giant climbs. Having a low gravity dungeon segment is just awesome. I'm so glad they did that. Could have easily just saved it for the mazes and stuff like that. Very nice. Probably another construct. Yeah, it's another construct weapon. <laughs> Almost all the chests here. It's just so beautiful. The clouds, the sky, the everything. Ambiance. At the very end of here. Work our way through the constructs. Hidden loot. In case we really want to. Never know if builds are important. Okay, I think that's it for this wing. A lot of these areas are optional too, like that. And yeah, Zoro Tunic rework is super nice. It's very clean, it's not just the same set path. You can swim left and right. That was such a very needed upgrade. One I didn't even think about, like I was fine with the way it worked in Breath of the Wild. But now seeing it in this game, it's like, Oh, that's so much cooler. So. Oh, and just made it. Whoa. Wait. Did I just spin out of it? With the helm? Oh, yeah, I'm going to try at the end. I did something kind of cool there. I'm gonna spin. Yeah, you can spin out of them. Because I have the Zora helmet. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. How neat. I don't think it gets us much extra distance, though. Oh, it does? Wait a second. I can just 
Yeah, I get extra distance or speed. Because <laughs> normally it's just like, or I guess it's the same as dashing, but it looks cooler <laughs> when it's not obstructed. <laughs> Boom, boom. <laughs> the giant glide backs. Oh man. Oh. Shield's tanky at least. And then we go. Okay. And then low gravity. Woo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it just feels good. Hydrants. You know what? That could be really good on a, like a melee weapon, you know? Because we could do spin attacks on. Yeah. Wait, first let's just clean the area. <laughs> Doesn't use any durability. Oh, so much fun to experiment. There we go. <laughs> well, Spring Island, not well, Muck Island. Well, well. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh, it's a water attachment, so it gets a natural buff. Or wait, is it only because I'm wet right now? <laughs> there we go. Can we do spin attacks? Yeah. Okay. Specifically for the spin attacks. There's some muck situation. Mm. All right. Plumbing service at your service. So, was it just to do that? Oh. Hidden? Sometimes it's not generous. Oh, the constant rain. <laughs> If you aim it, it's better. Nope, that's not a good aim. We'll go back for you. Ah. What do you know? <laughs> what do you know? Something I don't need to know. <laughs> All the way in Eventide. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be going there this run. Maybe we are. There is something actually interesting above him, Tide. That'll be helpful. But nowhere near now. There we go. It might drain the durability pretty fast, but we have plenty. What about a bigger one? Not too much. Yeah. Some constant spout. Yeah. So much fun playing with water. Can I? Yeah. I'm only doing it just because I started it. <laughs> well, now that I know I can, I just want to follow through. <laughs> Mashing A. Why is it letting me for like 0.2 seconds every 10? <laughs> Right there, right there. It's not even the spot, it's just randomly doing it, I think. Yeah, just out of spite. It's totally useless. <laughs> what if we throw it? Get that ready. <laughs> uh, it kind of did everything but the thing I needed it to. How nice of it. 
Okay. Nope. Fire hydrant. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, do we, nope. <laughs> do, we, <laughs> do, do we miss anything? Sorry. <laughs> that was not funny. It's just a stupid timing. Feels like there could be a good ear too. Or zero. Yeah, I think those things are supposed to be like checkpoints later. Like these. I think a normal waterfall will spawn so we can swim up but easier. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> we just take these leaps without having to climb. Satisfying. And then. That's satisfying too. We have options. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I wanted us to do that first. Okay. For a second. So cool. Just through the mouth. Okay, that seems to be the main way. There's a side way, again. I like these splinters. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Love this amazing ascent. The honorary portion of the dungeon. It could have been all part of it, too. Instead of just terminals at the end. But, I don't know. The linear ascent works well. So, it is to me regardless. Someone going to get crushed by that? <laughs> Does someone want to get crushed by that? Hmm. Seems to be a lot of fro foes. Uh, <laughs> but they can't be too strong. Gotta save my arrows. Oh. Oh, he was weak. Okay. Go. Launch him up. Okay. How high can I launch him? Oh, launch myself up high. Let's do another. Alright, and down. Nice. Keep him in the air, yeah. <laughs> he can't even get down. <laughs> we just juggled him. Wait. <laughs> I'm doing you again. Oh. Direct hit? <laughs> Good enough. This is so much fun. <laughs> wow. Sorry. That's not fun, though. Only in the zone I run, maybe. Okay. Let me go up. <laughs> launch! <laughs> Look, it's the launching platform. Wait, keep him up! Keep him up! Yep! <laughs> Juggle him up. There we go. He can't do crap. Wow. I didn't know Zoros was such good jugglers. I don't know. Something about an attacking fish would make a good circus act, though. Yeah. Ow. Uh-oh. 
I think I see what this guy is. <laughs> oh, there's Muck Rain. Well. We got the zero grav. <laughs> A two. Fortuitous. <laughs> Means I get a better part at the end. <laughs> Here. Uh oh, not that arm. Just take your arms off. Hit me again. Sure. <laughs> that was weak. Wow. <laughs> um, do you want to get splashed? Um, not, not particularly, I guess. <laughs> okay. Go through the back. <laughs> Low gravity splash. Oh, fine. <laughs> okay, and then climb up that way. <laughs> Low gravity to our advantage. Yes! Someone hit it again! Whoop! <laughs> no hands. There it is. You know what? We go into these. Break apart. It's fun. We still got our elite damage. The spear is not breaking. Oh, not hitting either. There we go. Thank you, spears, for everything. Okay, one more essence of utility. Oh, we lost our... Wait. We need splash here. <laughs> Just rolling up. There we go. <laughs> now that's a shatter. Go! No. Get, get out of here. Thank you. One, two, three. Bye. <laughs> At least it doesn't waste durability in the boxes. <gasps> That's good. <laughs> yeah. If it's hitting those other cubes, it's not wasting durability. <sighs> well. You know what? This would make a very nice hammer spear. <laughs> and a strong one, too. There we go. That's actually your yeah, best attachment for a spear. Yet. Yeah, For the sage as well, which this will be good for Sidon, because of course we'll want to power him up, and we just need three more. That's relevant for after this, though. Just planning ahead for our thank you gift. Hmm. Now just to get back up. I guess there's like lots of water around him. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like this is made for this. Can I? Oh, <laughs> close. Wait, no, come back. I feel like there's a water puddle here. <laughs> I mean, there's water everywhere. Shouldn't be <laughs> surprised. Oh. Nice. Thank you for working. <laughs> oh wait, no, jump into it. Yes, okay. <laughs> we made that well. That was cool. Spin dash. <laughs> In case there's an enemy right there. Arakuda's <laughs> where you at. This is secretly the actual dungeon all along. It's phenomenal. Yeah, spears do add that damage nerf, but it's still fine. They're fun. Like, I'm not going to play into those nerfs at all, because it's like, you know, I don't want to limit myself from using spears, because they're fun. Okay. Bunch of... 
There's just so many planes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna fail it that many times. Or are we just gonna... You know what? Well, not like that, but... <laughs> Gonna give me all these planes. I might as well use all the planes. <laughs> there we go. Proper plane shape, though. It's got to be proper. <laughs> Is that a plane shape? Well, we have, like, the wing. We need the cockpit now. All right. Let me back up a little bit. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> this is more like a Rito run invention, but... One in Hyrule. <laughs> where's where's the little button? Here it is. Just boop. Oh, <laughs> low gravity. Make it work. Uh oh. Is it? Woohoo! <laughs> of sorts, it does. <laughs> totally necessary. Very totally necessary. Biplane. Biplane. Ooh. Wait, one of them is already dead. Did you kill your friend? Contest of strength? Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. Not wowed enough. Ow! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I think I clunked my head afterwards. <laughs> I died twice because of the concussion I got. <laughs> okay. That was very easily avoidable. And we didn't avoid it. You know what? You know how it would have been avoidable? Idiot. Oh wait, that's Lord. Well, I'm not what? There we go. <laughs> See? Oh wait, well. Oh, he removes the wetness. Okay. So it's not hurting if it's wet, but it just removes it right away then afterwards. That's that's kind of neat though. Just for the sake of being neat. <laughs> Not like that was good in any way. Just life happens, I guess. I'll do it again. We're wet right now. It worked like one time. <laughs> I think we like heat up first and then... Okay. Oh yeah. The hydrant is getting the water perk because it's a water weapon. Because the hydrant... We're not wet, in other words, don't. So. Okay, make it wet. He did not like the wet again. <laughs> he really didn't. <laughs> the planes aren't all for me. Well, I wanted them all to be mine, because they were there. And yeah, they're for all the other workers and stuff, you know. But no, they were mine. Sorry, game. My Hyrule. Alright. If you want to be a pain. I'll let you be a pain for a moment. Hmm. Where'd he go? Shooting himself? Okay. Nope. Please jump all the way. Whee! Get closer! 
Perfecto. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't get launched. Like his little baby friends. That bomb should do the trick, though. Not quite. <laughs> doesn't believe in getting launched, I guess. <laughs> What, what, what? Okay. Round two. Go! It kind of worked. And batter back <laughs> for all the damage. Stupid flame club. <laughs> I thought Zoros were just weak to electricity. I guess weakest. All right, see ya, Platinum. Thanks for tuning in. Hmm, that's like a cool shortcut that we're not taking. My idea of the shortcut is skipping the first one of these. Also, is that secret loot? A chest. My, my. On this glorious morning, you reward me. Oh, keep landing on chests. <laughs> Thank you. Not rewarded. Oh, this is convenient to the location we got it in for once. It's trying to get better. Generosity and such. Remember when, yeah, sorry for your previous thing, when Ascend People thought it was only going to be used via water puddles because of the trailer thing. It showed like a teardrop beforehand. Uh-oh. One final wave. That's doable. <laughs> Very. And then go with a spear. Oh, you can just juggle like that. <laughs> as long as you're in a ragdoll. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh. Why did I ragdoll from that? Wait, you can waterfall. Give him hell. Whoop. Spear. And bye bye. That was good. Go for it! Not the rock! That's more powerful. Yes. No! Ah! Perfect. Do a little camera spin. Hi, Spear. Was that fun? <laughs> I'm sure it was. That was kind of silly. <laughs> Yay, low gravity combat. <laughs> Is this a helpful? No, it's not. <laughs> I like how there's enemy camps in the sky, though, like this. Because I don't think there were any in the... Uh, the Rito segment? Maybe in the uh, Thunder segment. But definitely Great Sky Island. No, it's just cool. Adds... Makes it feel like a just a large part of the world, which it is. Both in scale, challenges, and... Even historical significance. Waterworks. Oh, we gotta recall that one, don't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just don't get eager and press random buttons, and we'll be safe. Should be. What? Well, did did we just get pulled into? Yeah, we did. Okay. We didn't do it at the end. Oh, it's another hydrant area. What do you know? Oh, what do you know? Hmm. <laughs> Can we use another hydrant spear? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I'm taking it. Yeah, it's really not the best, but uh, it's something. <laughs> Is that lo lava? Oh no, that's not. 
That tricked me. It's like, why is there a lava fall? <laughs> and now where else is just mud, but mud and the angle of the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, mud sun. Oh, chest. I can do this. Where do you come from? Is that relevant? No, that's past there. <laughs> come on. I guess it's just got to be a bit of a bridge. Gives you like all the parts. These parts are cool too. I like the uh, the patterns on them. Just that uh, you know, old Zonai water stone kind of thing. Yeah, old Zonai water stone. That's that's the name for it. A little sun. Anything in the sky is just beautiful. Low gravity stone. And I'm just gonna have you launch off. One hydrant. It's just gonna be like one hydrant. Okay. <laughs> I should have guessed weapon. They're cool ones, though. Sorry. After this. Yep. Is that another recallable? Or is that a... <laughs> Barely. Oh, it's for the one that launches. Wait a second. Yeah? I think so. Let me get inside. Perfect. And... Yeah? Not a lot of speed, but the height's there. I'll take the height. And look at that. We already made it so far. We fought the construct thing and everything. All right. Go in the same direction. Oh, don't. He's back out of it. Thank you. There we go. That's what that's for. Not randomly pressing it. Okay. <laughs> it knows we like these. Muckdrock is coming up. Hmm. Oh, wants us to build like a plane launchy. Okay. We can do that. <laughs> also, just giving us hover stones if you want to hover on over. Pass on that, though. Like this. Perfect. This place looks amazing whether it's light or dark. Just totally different ambience each time. But both perfect. That was not a good placement, was it? I met some more so like that. Oh, not perfect. <laughs> We're, we're, we're trying. Just stick, unstick, stick, stick, stick. Okay. Just a little cart device. Love this one personally. I'm just fly it aside on. Oh my god, we missed you. I did this whole thing without you. I'm just gonna nose dive into this guy. Pew! Crashing! Oh. You know what? <laughs> it's not the end of it. Eat. Crash into him. Get him! Yeah! <laughs> it had purpose. Whoa! <laughs> Too much purpose. Uh. We're not hydrated. It just hydrates my enemies. Which is only really good for shock things. Sidon, do you want to help? Oh, 
I can use you. Okay. The damage of the attack reflects the weapon. But minus the Zora buff. Ah! <laughs> but it does nothing if you don't connect. <laughs> also, welcome back, Orca. You made ramen. Congrats. <laughs> no, ramen's tasty. <sighs> Meanwhile, I have no fish food for myself. I just keep dying in one hit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. For a good long range attack, the spears are nice. It's very fast. He prefers a short range. It's okay. I'm not I'm not an expert at against the constructs yet. <laughs> Their timing is a little foreign to me. I try my best. But trying is the key word. <laughs> Looks like Link can eat some ramen too. Easily. You know what? Uh what's our ramen equivalent? Uh yeah, ramen. It's it's purple, just like ramen. Hmm. In case I mess up the timing. Yep, like that. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we'll get him once. Okay. We have infinite shields. Last for 10 seconds. <laughs> and it takes 10 seconds to recharge. Nice. It's okay, do your thing. Hit me. Oh, it's because he... I I can do it. Uh, instant! <laughs> Hit him into it. Just the gloom. Sludge. Or nothing. <laughs> Pathetically done. <laughs> done and done. Is that? Is that what? <laughs> Probably the thing we need to go forward. That's nice, though. <laughs> See? If you're just feeling really kludgy and missing all your parries, Sadon comes in handy. Uh oh, wait, wait, uh, <laughs> I went too far. Oh, never mind. Zora recall. Okay. But the source of the sludge is here. First was a sludge like. And now another. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> very atmospheric, very cool. Korok. I love hiding these guys. I don't need seeds though. <laughs> Genuinely do not. Can't waste my bow. <laughs> Up the icky waterfall. The pea waterfall. Whoosh. To this divine temple with... Well, water temple. With not so divine muck coming out of the faucet. Just stunning. Right. Here's our final trial. In order to unlock the true... Well... Zora style. I really want these pants. And, and the glider. Close side on. Sky above our own domain. Look. 
I'm searching a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Terminal based. That's not another sludge like. It is very sludge like, but not a sludge like. Ew. <laughs> it's like sludge tentacles drooping down. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this, Zoro. Get it? Goro. I'm glad only Gorons have catchphrases with that. <laughs> okay. That's some strong sludge. <laughs> there we go. Damper it down a little bit. Nah. <laughs> Just the fault. But we'll get more water. <laughs> Why can't I just build a giant hydrant machine to fix the problem? I don't know. That would be nice. Zone I can create just infinite water, apparently. Cherry can. This is the source of the pure waters of Zora's domain. Yes. Use your power to turn on the four faucets and you can collect water here. It's funny, because there was a faucet challenge in, like, the final dungeon of Breath of the Wild for the Zora segment, too. Not just faucet in full strength. <laughs> full blast. Okay. Alright. Well. I guess one wing at a time here. <laughs> or one fin at a time. <laughs> Alright. For our water. You know, there's more choo choos. I'm taking advantage of that, definitely. Enemy choo choo and just neutral choo choo. Do you want some? What? Why did he. Did he drown? Are they drowning? Wait, but you're water. Because <laughs> no water floats on water, so you are water. What is this? <laughs> okay. Interesting design choice, Choo Choo's. <gasps> I, I couldn't tell you. Okay, but it seems like that's not the way to go. <laughs> I'm gonna start over here first. Hmm. Oh, it's because we build our own bridge. Let's see. We can if we want to. Alright. Not these ruined bridges. <laughs> There's so many broken bridges. Wait. Wonder, do you guys want water too? <laughs> Oh, not good. You know what? Maybe I'll help you guys out. I'm feeling generous today. <laughs> the water. <laughs> Just in the muck. Low gravity and wind. Here, Saturn can do it that way. I have special strats here. There we go. Just in the water. It's a pool. You guys should use it. You guys are so lucky to have one. I didn't want to swim today. Oh, Sidon can do that. You're gonna ick my game here. A hole in ten. Yeah, they're drowning too. What is that? Not a good. Oh, shield almost was handy. Do you really want this to be your fate? A very bad fate. Ah. <laughs> he won't stop falling. Okay. Well, it sucks to be him. But it's silly to be us. It's... 
How's the stream going? It's going really good. Um, this will definitely be the last thing for today because we've been going for almost five hours. Um, but the first stream is usually the longest part because it just has so much energy. And it's like, I like to, you know, use that energy. All right, hydrants. Oh. It never likes doing that, does it? The arc is just wrong. Of course, to the side. Oh, yep. It can't be head on. Also, what just happened? Where'd it go? Did it just go flying that far? Well, it's gone. <laughs> By a long shot. <laughs> Goodbye to you. It was almost broken anyways. That's fine. Oh, wow. It has some strength, that's for sure. When's the next one coming? <laughs> that was a ride. Oh, wow. Hmm. Where'd it go? Good question. Oh, <laughs> question answered. Oh, that's what the hover stones are for. Gotcha. Well, I guess I could. <laughs> or, or this. Some, oh, I sat on. Those flippies in. And I can't even see where I'm going. Is it just stuck? It is. Nice. Oh yeah, because we gotta Oh, we gotta weigh it down with the hover stone. Neat. Yep, they, oh it just did itself. <laughs> I didn't even activate the hover. Now we can activate the hover. <laughs> Perfect. Or wait. Oh, we can just open it that way too to let the water out. <laughs> I guess we have to do both, don't we? Oh, hi. I didn't even <laughs> <The> float. <laughs> What's that? Nothing cool. <laughs> Get him. Yeah. <laughs> now he's doing damage. Dive, long dive. Go for the water wheel. Side on? Get over here. Okay. Ready? More than ready. Oh. Guess we're not. I do see that. I was just going to do it with, uh, without your instruction. And now the thing is gone. And it still has to recharge. <laughs> that was really a damper mitch side on. <laughs> but that's better. One of four. Because there's only four. Yes, you got one flowing. This is great. Just three to go. Okay. Well, those hover stones will deactivate. Oh yeah, but every terminal that you get, enemies spawn. <laughs> Just like the final beast in Breath of the Wild. Okay, you know what? You guys are in a nice treat. It's the Waterland. Get used to it. <laughs> and sure enough, this is very handy. It keeps the loot too. Yep, the loot just stays in the puddle for a bit. Like that. Whoa. Bye bye. Just the core dancing in the water. And that's the best way. Power of water. Through Zora, Zora weapons, Sidon. Isn't that? Okay. Ooh. I guess the next terminal. I saw it over here. Yep. 
halfway down. There's blocked by fire. Of course, just like all the other ascent puzzles. Kind of? Maybe? Aha! <laughs> that is it. Looks to be. We gotta go there, though. <laughs> When's a stasis launch where I needed one? Use a mock version. Low gravity. <laughs> Basically creates a long throw. Which is awesome. <laughs> we pin it to that. And then you go back. Nope. <laughs> that. <laughs> It'll work. In time. Please. It's okay. And bye. No. <laughs> it's too long, Throwy. <laughs> I guess so. Ow. Wait. This should be slower, right? Oh my God. <laughs> it literally just gives everything a long throw. I'm still going to try it. It gives weapons long throw and thrown. Um, <laughs> yeah, it gives, yeah, it gives weapons long throw and thrown. It gives boomerangs the wing property when thrown. Low gravity just does it all. This likely is not going to work because we just did it and it didn't. Whoa, nice. It did <laughs> the spin flip. Ooh. Cool. What if we just did the same here? Nah, you know what? Best plan for this? You can throw it pretty high. We'll just corner it. Oh, <laughs> a little too high. Good spirit, though. Oh, wait. Let me push it out a little bit so it gets lodged. Eh. Close. It was a little too out, anyways. Oh, I guess we can just ultra end it. I decided we're doing this. <laughs> I... Oh. Well, well, that's something. <laughs> oh, that that's no longer something. <laughs> There's really a billion ways to do that one. <laughs> so I just picked the worst one. Oh, oh it wasn't sludge. It was like... What's with the slow movement? Also, oh, of course. The puzzle solution I had last time is one I need for this time. I don't have any charge. <laughs> uh, yummy. From all the constructs we killed. Back it up. And then, whoop, active. And now we just need Sidon. Come on. <laughs> really? Also, there's a chest, right? That's that's nice. Ugh, get this first. It's not really pressing down, is it? Oh, right. <laughs> 
just the weight of the world here. Side on, please. My harvest stone's running out. Okay, big hefty slash. Whoa. Good. That is two. Well done, Link. Now you just need to open the remaining two. I sure do. Well. <laughs> oh wait, no, the chest. Uh, I can't forget that. I have a plan. So we had this. It's like a low gravity type thing. Yep, like that. <laughs> Super nice and low gravity. Oh, and then we spin. Okay. And we just gotta break this apart. And it fell. <laughs> just the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Perfect. Sidon just watching. Better be good. Uh, good as in better than having one. Or <laughs> good as in better than having zero. Okay. Go out. And again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Supreme traveling. We're going to get out this way too? Of course we are. <laughs> I'm glad we packed two of these. It does drain durability a bit, though. And the rocket only lasts so long. So are you, a... you are a... Sapphire! <laughs> Ice is basically water. So it fits in theme. Go, and then we're gonna ride around. <laughs> now this is the way to travel. I guess we're taking advantage of low gravity. All right. Going for the next. Oh. And that's it. Slam down. Get him. Okay, that's with our water. Well, two. All for a good potential part. Perfect. Now, I'll eat a fish. <laughs> Cannibalism, good, for now. Just to get our one-shot protection. I'd like to keep the death count even throughout this. Or, odd. It's, it's an odd number. Also, thank you, Orca, for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> 25 in total, wow. Did you get your husband to help you with that room and he doesn't play Zelda? You were so lost. There's a lot going on. Uh, for me, I... Even just getting to the remote, I think that was like the first thing I did when playing the dungeon. Um, I don't know, it's like, wow, this stuff looks cool. First instinct going underneath. Um, but yeah, it just made sense to me. Wait a second. That. <laughs> Can we throw it from here? Imagine if we could. <laughs> I don't think I have to imagine. Just long throw? Yeah! <laughs> Literally everything's long throw. Not just the weapons. Hmm, that one's descending. Don't pop. Don't pop. I don't think it will. Just making sure. And then we go... <laughs> Any more enemies to drone? Not here. Oh. Fire-like. That, that's for the next one. <laughs> here. I don't like having a badly damaged shield out all the time. So it's water. Oh yeah. <laughs> Connecting the current. Basically all these puzzles were represented by shrines previously. So the more shrines you did in the region, 
the easier these puzzles would be. That's it. Yeah, the starting position's off. So there we go. Help it out. <laughs> there we go. It's it's the bare minimum. What a power set. Now we just need a conductor, which water is a great conductor. So two two. There we go. These pillars are so cool. All water based. Using all the stuff we learned off the island. I'm just a huge fan. The Ascend puzzles, because we, we did a lot of that going up to the domain. So it all just is very in theme. Wow. <laughs> you just realized it's your six month anniversary of being one of my mods. Oh my god. This time really flew by that fast. I have to forget that even just like when this game came out. So it's like my sense of time is just so thrown off because it's like, yeah, this game's been out for like years. So it's like, man, you know, been a few years since that. No, <laughs> hasn't even been a year yet. So yeah, thank you for all your help. Honestly, you've been here a lot. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> I like big spinny. Your cat really likes watching you play Tears and Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it's like certain games, like, um, I don't have any cats living with me right now, but when I was with my parents, they have cats, and, uh, it was always, like, the very colorful ones, like, stuff like Mario, or, like, I remember, like, Wii Tennis specifically, because, like, the ball that would go flying, they would try to catch it. Oh, wow. The final one. But what a setting for it. Where did this come from? I don't know. Hmm. I'm taking it. Whoa, sight on flips again. Wait. Clean the muck. Thank you. Sure. I see a, f a fire like. <laughs> okay, we need it fast. I don't really need it. I just would like to have it because it's cool. Okay, wait. Running over. <laughs> uh, totally necessary speed potion. Just so I make it. Oh, yeah, it hit him down. <laughs> nice. Bye bye. <laughs> well, now we have speed. And low gravity. Oh my god. Cool. Fire like stone. Such an odd enemy here, but fire and water. We get a fight back. Oh, and right. This one is not the Zora Lu table. Two <laughs> shoes, again. Didn't you learn from the past times? <laughs> Whoa! Fire Choo Choo! <laughs> Thank you for being my shield. Whoa. But I'll take this. Sh I'll take another water shield. Oh! Thank you. You really want to mess with that? <laughs> Tried. There's a chest up there. Puzzle to get to it? Uh, just this once more, I have to. It's, it's too satisfying. I can't not do it. Cool one. Cool beans. 
What if I can just float into there? <laughs> Watch this be insane timing. Oh my god! <laughs> it almost was, actually. <laughs> we almost made it inside. <laughs> That's a one in a million, though. So. The odds of it partially happening is very low. <laughs> Hi. It's okay. Clean it out. <laughs> we can go slower. And then, whoop. Nope. <laughs> Barely any stamina taking in the bullet time. I mean, it's only per shot, but... Low gravity, you can do a lot more. Wait. I just have a feeling we're going to get him the first go. Wait. Wait, I can do this. Okay, it's like as it's passing. Just give me one shot. It was inside! Was it not? I feel like it landed inside, but just keeps getting ripped out. Okay, like three more. I'm doing it too early. One. Two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool to make attempts and just have the same result happen over and over. <laughs> Maybe not super cool. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Moves so fast it literally rips the plants off. That's fine. Keep him in the air. <laughs> oh, maybe you just blow him out. It's funny. Not super funny. That was a bad joke. Okay, temporary water. Speared. Bye. <laughs> Slide on flip again. Okay. Before I activate that, I just... Want to take on the center enemies again? Because was there any after this wave or no? Oh no, I don't think there was. It's only after some of the waves more spawn. Interesting. Now we got to go back. Sidon just... Where'd you go? <laughs> So yeah, in terms of the goal of clearing out all the enemies. Well, that's what we wanted to do. And that's just to make us feel better about uh, making Muktarok the last one. Let's go and do this. For that rain shot, get it <laughs> from a distance. Spot on. Oh. Okay, this will be the last thing for today. This was a long stream. It was also very fun. All right. Central device. Well. <laughs> To fully be the hero of the Zoras once more. With our pal. All it takes is just killing a silly little Octorok. <laughs> well, what's the harm in that? <laughs> I don't think there is any. It's like, I'm going to check the islands. Oh yeah, this little thing. There was a chest on this one. So that one. <laughs> Easy way. Let's take that. Because you know what? Zora shield. <laughs> it's the only Zora weapon here. 
fitting final grab. The rest is construct, but just this one, they're like, we'll allow it. Finally, one remnant. But we shall go in. <laughs> Fast speed into what we need. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Too much water from. Yeah, that was a shield I was drawing on my map. I thought it was on the surface by the domain, but it's just the one in the sky. So. The sludge dissolved. The domain is surely safe now. Positively safe. <laughs> Your optimisticness is uh. Well, just wrong again. This is one. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's a little muck to rock. <laughs> First, it was a muck like like. No, a muck octo rock. Just muck versions of normal enemies. Not original, Ganon. Oh. <laughs> well, that part's a little original. Jaws. Alright. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Right away! Boom! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> well. Here's where we wait. <laughs> Running's good too. Oh, low gravity. <laughs> Alright, this is our fastest one the spear jabs. And the longest. <laughs> oh, you have a lot of health. Spears are good. <laughs> Let me chase him down. Beat it into him. Go side on. Another hit. Screw it. Oh! <laughs> all the way to the second phase. <gasps> yeah. I have to cower behind all this muck to kill Azora. But we got the weapon power. <laughs> There's more water in the world than anything else. <laughs> and we're not afraid to use that water. Oh! <laughs> Just barely missed. It's okay. Do your muck rain. It's only a little bit, too. Oh, it hit me, too. It's fine. We're in the arena a little bit. Second phase will be hell otherwise. The weak phase. We can do it easily. Pulverize! <laughs> and... Oh, spears are our best bet. Oh, I love this sword too. Whoa! The rocket shield! <laughs> Get him! No! It's not even fair or fun. <laughs> One more here. Clear it out. It hit him too! Okay. <laughs> the blast is huge. Spins. Just cuz and get him. One more. Zorbo. Come and clutch. Or clutch again. Yes. <gasps> okay. The power is too strong for you. It's a silly little Octo. <laughs> we save the weakest boss for the one that has the most powerful weapons to face him. At least out of the four regions. We like that. The other guys will go down fast too, but we'll just have to do them all at once. With Zora stuff, we can manage. Bye bye, Muck. <laughs> just baked in the sun. Morning sun. And that's stunning. Do I have to splash the secret stone now? Nope, okay. No more muck problems. So, thank you, Obols, for helping.
is alright. Yummy. Um. Good. <laughs> Fish food. Pink. <laughs> oh. Run you. Whoa. <laughs> Low gravity. I'm gonna miss it. That's okay. <laughs> the adventure was phenomenal. Okay. And there is about 18 minutes of this, so we're gonna skip. Bam. <laughs> Sidon, my Cherished Ken. Secret stone? Or demon Ken? Though we Zora live long lives, this all happened in a time ancient even to us. The kingdom of Hyrule was... That's okay. I do know about the lore. But I'm happy we did it, because that was a lot of fun. And that is everything as soon as we wrap all these cutscenes, is like the sixth one I'm skipping. Um, <laughs> then, yeah, we're going to wrap it for today. A um, little over five hours, so we got a lot done. This was basically it's wave one of fight. basically everything I thought I wanted to do. So just a lot of travel around and finish with the dungeon. But we're going to start tomorrow's stream, which is going to start at 12 Eastern. Um, I came here. With getting the Zora pants, getting the Zora glider. Um... Like We're going to be getting more of the Sage's Wills. Um, and that's basically it, but all, all that collectively. Just as well, the Pants is a quest. I the Glider is a quest. Um, Sage's Wills is three separate little adventures. Oh, yeah, and then a Depths adventure to get the pristine stuff. So. There we go. Okay. Have to see this one. This is the cool part. Jojo pose. I am the sage of water. Behold, this is my new power. Go side on. Oh. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> no, we have two best friends. He duplicated. Hear me, your hand. We didn't do it. <laughs> Sage of Water, swear that I will fight by your side. <laughs> Love how this whole game just recreating the battle that took place eons ago. It is proof of my so it feels so cool. Ooh, like us. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> I'm just saving that for my own because that just gives me shivers. But the good kind. If this isn't a proposal, I don't know either. <laughs> yep. I would take that marriage to him. That's the best type. Side on. Yeah. <laughs> marriage proposal complete. With that ring, so is this the wedding? You will always have my no. <laughs> We're partnered up again. Yeah. He's All my right, partner. See, it works. Home. But there it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Side on adventures. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, Yona. It, it just be like that. But, where are my pants? We'll get the pants. I promise. That, it just, coincidence. Um, that'll be like the first thing we get though tomorrow. Because, yeah, it sucks how we have to wait for the whole thing to be done, but... At least it'll happen eventually. Because, yeah, phase two of the run will be tomorrow. So getting the pants, getting the glider, getting all the weapons from the depths, getting the sage's wills, the power-up side on. Um, I don't know if I'll have enough energy after all that to do the finale, so we might save the finale for another day. Which, three-day challenge runs are pretty normal. Because, yeah, the finale, a lot of bosses and whatnot. Oh, perfect. <laughs> blue! Oh my, that's like very blue. I was not expecting that. And beautiful, like always. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Partial Zora. Oh. Sludge vanished without a trace. <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> I believed in you. Worthiness to bear the crown. <laughs> From hero to sage, now king. He is my king. Take Yona's hand. Yona's. <laughs> Me? <laughs> the finest swordsman in Hyrule should bear witness. <laughs> Where's witness a celebration after the Zora stuff? <laughs> Again, the one, another common theme between the Zora quest line here and in Breath of the Wild. There's always a celebration at the end. A strong sense of unity. I love it. Exalted Dolphin. <laughs> You wanna... Okay, it's sweet. I get to stay with this sage, though, so it works. Avatar. The sludge threatens us no more. Once again, are free to swim through crystal waters beneath azure skies without fear. So optimistic. King Sidon, heroic Sir Link. All of us who call the domain home. Not all matters are resolved. Take down the threat. Peace we have fought so hard could vanish like a bubble on a needle. <laughs> a lot of those earlier. Lend strength. My partner in life and in leadership shall undertake as your king and queen. That's so sweet. Like he's just like too wholesome for the world. <laughs> Even more just <laughs> of a reason to take down Ganon. Okay. So a vision of that woman. Sage of time. It was definitely Zelda. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Zelda's in Hyrule. Ancient Hyrule. That's okay, Sidon. Appreciate the adventure. But we will be adventuring with you again at the very end. But until then, well, we'll have a part of you following with. And this is the part that I will, as a gift, make sure to make as strong as possible. And we have one sage's will, now just three more. But, bleh, but first, well... I would like the pants. That that's first. Uh, oh, and no low gravity. Have to get used to that. And oh yeah, and the glider. So three big things. We can do all three of those, and uh, it'll take us a lot. But oh yeah, on top of getting more new weapons, which we can do it all. And. With that, that is the end of today's stream. It's been uh, basically five and a half hours. Got a lot done. Started from the Sky Island all the way here. Uh, so yeah, do those three big things tomorrow, which will take us a bit. And I can't promise the finale afterwards because it's hard getting into the finale after playing for several hours, you know? Because, you know. But it might happen. It's not like it's going to be the hardest thing with Zoro stuff because it's very powerful. But we will see. And thank you guys for watching. It was very fun. Uh, I'm glad we got to do this, because, uh, yeah, as our third Tears of the Kingdom challenge run, I thought it would be fun to do the Zora again. And I love the whole dungeon segment, love the build-up, it starts down below in the sewers, the whole chain, it's, it's phenomenal. And doing this again was just breathtaking, so I loved it. And tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern, I'll be here, and hope you guys have a great rest of your night, and for those who can make it, I'll see you then. Goodbye.